open on our four queens, Hannah, Braga, D, and Maddie. I'm a queen now. Led by Frolin Boggins, headed back to the sewer entrance. In entrance. I'm interested in the sewer. <laughs> Down to the Palisade sewer, where the the palis the Palisade underground resistance is currently meeting, residing, and surviving. All right. Ah, uh, so yes, you said it was a sewer. I'm not gonna repeat myself. Is this it? It's so obviously the sewer entrance. Great. Um, who who wants to? I mean, I guess I could give this bad boy a go. I mean, I could probably, I could do it. It's fine. Uh, not not to take away your glory. <laughs> I'd love to see Frolin try. All right. Yeah. Right. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> he rolled a two sixes. <laughs> All right. Uh, no. I'd like to see this. <laughs> ah, loser. I Chose, believe in you. Chosen one, right? <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. With this bigger, you could use some support. Matt, Matt, All right. We're just, we're just, oh. we, yeah. Here we go. And you just see him. Uh, you see him go. Uh, 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 <laughs> as slowly <laughs> like, it's just like it's the slowest movement he does it successfully but his face goes from like pale to pink to bright red as you see like these little veins on his face drain oh my god, oh, oh my god. I hope someone gift that right at like the height of his <laughs> training I just kind of like rest my hand against it and hold it up with like no effort at all <laughs> You're, you're, uh, you're going to need to check your pants. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Did it? Yeah, we yeah, saw. Yeah, good job. Oh, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just casually holding what it. What is that? What uh, are you doing with that? What is that uh, motion you're doing? What is that? Uh, some of don't, us, don't repeat some it. Of what us, if you don't do it? Some of us smidgens I do thought, it. I thought Maybe. it looked kind of oh. cool. So. That? I mean, Maddie, you're your own person. You can do it in a circle too, like. Nee, 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 nee. Why? Nee, nee, nee. I did it. Why? I, I left it the sewer grate. Okay, All let's right, go. Let's go down and do it. <laughs> I will not uh, spend time trying to understand this. That's little, a no, this, really this excellent person. point. No, Frolin starts example. to descend no, no. down uh, the ladder ahead of you all. Uh, Hannah, Maddie, Braga, and Dee. This gives you a little bit of a distance in time to yourself. Oh. Head on down, shall we? <laughs> As you head on down, I'll spend some time to I'm yours. not the only one that's awkward right now. Yeah, I don't, I don't uh, know. Uh, wow, it just feels like this is all coming to a to a head. Totally, yeah, you and know? you should you shouldn't feel intimidated by the fact that you're filling a, a dead woman's shoes. You're a little bit taller than her, and so you could fill those shoes perfectly. My feet are very petite. <laughs> so is she. That was always hers. Yeah, you're gonna be great. Okay. We're Good. Just gonna deal with this morbidly, you know. Yeah, we morbidly. should probably go down there before we lose someone else. <laughs> yeah. Good point. Yeah. yeah. Like Violet, we should probably see if she's okay. Yeah, that's that's yep. Implying. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm not great at subtlety. <laughs> hey, don't be nervous. Yeah, we're we're totally you know in over our heads. We're chill. We killed like five people <laughs> that were like really mattered to the world. So I mean, I mean all, just don't do that. If anyone like, could right. screw things up worse, it would be us. Yeah, I think you can only make things better. Really, yeah. that's a like, really good point. Or if you made things worse, you would just be more part of our team. To be true. honest with you, like, like so like, the bar is like so low, I could pretty just like step over it. I mean, it's not it's not like yeah. cool when you say it, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> it kind of seems mean when you say it back to us. But. Oh. I, <laughs> I just start going. <laughs> oh, I, think her down. Good. I think we did a good job. We, yeah. yeah. Just, just really good. pepped we're, her. We're sort of good at pep talks, but I feel like maybe we could work on it. Not and then that. I'm actually crying as I go down. <laughs> <laughs> as the four of you continue down, finally meeting up with the Frolin, it's just a short distance, a walk until you're back at the Palisade Underground Resistance headquarters. Uh, surprisingly, uh, your good, your the companion that you had above that assisted you in defeating the treant uh james <laughs> yes. warstone actually you didn't really see him go off he's he ended up escorting uh 
Maddie's father and mm. the rest of the inhabitants yes. of the Black Seder back down. And you see that he is now kind of assigning, pointing them to the directions of this is where you get food and this is where you'll be staying. And you, you kind of see he's very excitedly talking about it uh, amidst their kind of grim and somber faces as now they are going to be living in a sewer for a while. Maddie, can I ask? I know that your father cares so much about the Black Seder, but did it really make so much sense to not come down here and remain safer and, and just protect something up there? Well, I, it you know, you, you try and talk sense into my dad. It doesn't always work. Uh, but for him, Black Seder, it's not just a place. It's more of a symbol. I mean, we could agree with that. Of, yeah. And I guess protecting it was more important than his safety. What about your safety? Oh, yeah, that would probably have been a good idea to go to safety. But, you know, um, I it, it's more of a do the right thing and um, stand. I didn't want him to be alone, obviously. And yeah. I, I don't know. I I get it. To I'm be not... honest, it's all kind of fuzzy. I don't really remember any of it. <laughs> it's just a, it's Let me happens. look at my notes. <laughs> this is what happens when... <laughs> Why was I there? Time. Oh, well, you were protecting it. I That's was. Exactly oh, good. Right. Okay, yeah. So I, we was, know I was protecting it. And you know that. I do. But it's scary. And, and you know that a god came and visited you and told you you were a rat queen. You yeah, do know that. that. I do know that. <laughs> yep. Um, it's what I've always wanted. And I'm, I'm ready for it. And if you die, you'll die a rat queen. Which is awesome. Yeah. It's awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> let's go see how Violet's doing. <laughs> yeah, let's yeah. see how Violet's doing. <laughs> the four I want to give look, her the sword. It's heavy. The four of you look over and you see that Violet is uh, sitting up on a cot now. You see that her arm has been completely bandaged. It's, it's very, very well wrapped. She even has a few pieces of light armor on top of it, but nothing super heavy since it is still healing. And in her good hand, she holds uh, a mug of broth. And it's just kind of sitting on there, sitting on there, sipping, waiting for you all. And Violet, yes, because of your rest, uh, you did heal up 10 hit points, so you're back at 11. Awesome. <laughs> Poor Braga. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, good you're not dead. <laughs> Hey. I'm at 16. I'm doing okay. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Hi. Hey, buddy. Hi. How are you feeling? Yeah, hey, uh, you know, like I uh, got thrown down a hill and punched in the face, but better than I did feel. So, yeah. How uh, How is everyone doing out there? Uh, it's not good. Yeah, but could could be a lot better. Yeah. I mean, get All right. Trees ass. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. Back to work then. I mean, yeah. immediately. Speaking of which, we have something for you, and I, I hand you this really heavy, elaborate sword. I don't remember what it looked like, so I have to, you have, might describe it again to her. Violet, this is for you. The sword that Braga is hand that Braga hands to you is this uh, beautiful kind of silver and gold hilted sword with an opalescent blade. He called it the Silver Sunder. It's the Silver Sunder, and oh. suddenly, Violet, you notice <laughs> that they are not alone, and that emerging from behind Braga is this uh, smidgen man with curly brown hair who just is smiling, and he's just he's just looking around and very, very excited for the grim situation that is that is the Palisade Underground resistance in a sewer. That is the uh, Silver Sunder. That is the weapon of the ruddy. It's the chosen weapon of uh, from the life prophecy. Pew. That's you, the ruddy, right. huh? Yep, you got red hair. That means you're the ruddy, I guess. You also have red hair. You kind of have like reddish brownish hair. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 yeah it's like red tones. Like, yeah. we could, like we could look related, you know, if we in the right light. <laughs> oh, I can see it. Yeah, yeah, in the sewer light, a little bit. You know, oh, we should probably spend time analyzing it. No, I'm kidding. We shouldn't. <laughs> we should get back. Yeah, I, I agree with Violet. Uh, before we do, I just uh, I actually need a little healing. <laughs> Funny enough, um, uh, I like to look around to see if there's any healers who I can hit up for some healing. Because <laughs> I believe I'm at eight hit points. <laughs> Maddie, you Is that got, right? Maddie, you... Hey, what's up? Hey. Um, I will heal. I will heal D. I will. <laughs> Wonderful. You have an ability called Healing Song, correct? I do. I'm going to um, grab my loot really quick and give, 
give a little tickle on my G string and <laughs> uh, give you some. You sure you don't want to do that in private? I'll just, we'll just hit an A major chord. Who's getting healed here? For a major healing song. Oh, roll me 2d6 <laughs> plus heart. Okay. Eight. Hmm. Does she have any tokens? Let us see. Uh -huh. The tokens as they stand. Wow. But wait, can I use... Oh, the bond points don't matter, right? No, they do not, That's for unfortunately. That's, That's for it. helping. Yeah. The tokens as they stand. You can use these tokens to, to right. make a roll better. Uh, Hannah has seven. Violet has three. Braga has three. Ooh, Dee thank has you, two. And Maddie has three. Ooh, and there are six second chances. Ooh, so a second wow. chance is essentially a wow. reroll. Wow. Thank you. I mean, you thank you, Chad. Chad. You could use Would you like to use two tokens to make it a ten? Yes, I would. Because, yes, I would. For a major... Heal. <laughs> Fantastic. So describe to me this perfect major heal. Sure. Is it a uh, song where, that must where, be sung? Where do you hurt? Oh, uh, I don't. Do I have injuries? I forget. D. I yes. I've just uh, taken a lot of like little. D. You're at eight. So yeah, you've been yeah. taking you've been taking blows here and there. A lot of falls. A lot of. Yeah. Um, you haven't had any uh, it's like, where area do you hurt? specific yes. injuries. Yes. It's, I have some bruises and cuts uh, and stuff like that. But it's a your lot. Soul. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Yeah. Okay. Here I go. It, there is a loot here. <laughs> I'm not playing air air loot. Is it, I'm, I'm I, I can see the loot. Okay, good, good. Okay. Uh, it is time to go with the flow. You have taken many hits and blows. Now it's time to hear my song and heal, heal, heal. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna do a, a big finish, but then I figured it might be I might want to save my big finish for you know yeah another time somewhere better acoustics yeah yeah the sewer surprisingly is not bad with the acoustics but at the same time you know I want to um, yeah. <clears throat> people were sleeping oh, here too and that yeah. was that was very was gorgeous. very good mm. thank you I, I, uh, I'll prepare something a little better uh, for next time no, that was yeah, great it was, it was impressive that was, that was, I'm so impressed. short. Yeah. I, I Short almost, and sweet. I almost like bardism now. Uh, based off of that. Uh, truly, I'm feeling a real transformation. Uh, how are you feeling, D? D? Because that was a complete success of a healing song. You are that healed. Was, it's <laughs> echoing back to me. <laughs> yeah, see, it came back. It came back this way from the, the down acoustics that way. are so great. <laughs> you are healed for two d six, which was eight. So oh, you get eight points of health back, <sighs> which puts you right at sixteen. Wonderful. I feel pretty great. You look Thank a lot better. Wow. Whew, that was the really, really good love. healing. Thank you. Thanks. Before then. Uh, uh, Kira, you all recognize Kira, the chiropractor, come over, <laughs> and uh, she kind of comes to you. Did someone say they needed healing? Oh, I mean, we all could use a little bit. Yeah, at least the three of us. Oh, but you're. Oh, you already. I oh, is that your is that your song? Okay, echoing? it's echoing back. It's uh, kind of weird. To it's hear quite it. good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's Thank very you. well performed. Oh, oh wonderful. You. Well, if you if you need anything, uh, I'm here. Uh, my good friend Kirk, uh, the the Cairo. The chiropodist is here as well. Uh, and yes, Palisades, Palisades' booming medical community has, uh, well, most of us have survived down here. So I know that a lot of our magical clerics are, are unable to, to provide any assistance at this time with their magical abilities, thus being uh, untapped from the gods. But uh, So that's a whole thing everyone's experiencing. Yes, that. we have. Not just me. It's, we have not even, well... There were a few members of the, well, the Church of Many Religions. Uh, they went up back up to the to the Grand Cathedral and Palisade to to collect items, tokens, relics, any physical items that they believe could help them commune with the gods once again. But we unfortunately don't know if that was successful as they have not returned. How long ago did they go? About three days, so... I wonder how long we were gone. For. We fear for the worst. Do we even know that? Yeah, do we know? Do you, do you know when Mona's ship arrived from Stridus? Mona's ship. Yes, I believe there was a there was a the ship. The Quinceañera. The Quinceañera. Yes, I believe 
It docked into port about a fortnight ago. Crazy, wow. crazy. Billford Boggins. And and you were all supposed to be on that ship, correct? I mean, that's we what were on that's that what ship. your your father told us. We were on the ship. When it left Stridus, we were on it. We were on it. Until we weren't. Right. Just had, it was just a curious quandary. No, I think it's good to, it's good to know, because it could have been a year as far as we knew. Uh, yeah. Well, you're, you're here now, which is, which is, it was wonderful. Do you want to just heal me for the, for the shit of it? Is what's you, what's it, my... What? Hannah, you're at 13. <laughs> just touch me. Make me feel good. I miss the All right, uh, touch of body against body. Uh, she needs she needs a good crack. <laughs> yeah, Kira's like, all right, uh, late. I don't really have my chiropractor just do table. It. Okay, I'll do a standing adjustment as mm-hmm. she goes up behind you, and you just feel her kind of palm oh! you in one of your uh, your your spinal uh, vertebrae vertebrae. I think Kira enjoyed that, and you feel yeah. it. You feel it pop. <sighs> And you are healed for, because uh, it was a mixed success on her end, you're healed for 1d6, which was 1. So uh, <laughs> your, your back just feels a, a little 14. bit better. Yeah, a 14. So you just feel, you feel the tension in your back melt away. Oh, geez, that's you're not giving it the elbow grease. What kind of doctor are you? Hey, it is very oh. hard to do it standing. Uh, <laughs> I do need a table for it. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, in, yeah. in, a, in a time where the world is ending, we're not going to be picky about right. how we get our adjustments. Just hey, full for Boggins. Oh, yep. Yeah. Uh, is there something we're supposed to be doing right about now to, like, stop the apocalypse? Oh, yeah. We should yes. probably do that. We have everyone now. Yeah. yeah. So why don't we get on that All part right. of it? We got the five. Check. All right. Now. All right. So basically what we have to do. This is this is what we have to do. This is Just what I've been doing. Just spit it out. Come on. Let's get okay. to it. Okay. Well. We have to find the door. Once we find the door, we have to unlock the door. And then once we unlock the door, we go through the door into the plane of, of who knows what. I'm guessing Arius, possibly something else. Don't really know what's beyond the door. Just have to find the door, open the door, uh, and then find Arius within that plane. And uh, stick, 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 this on. Let's stick this on them. Wait, you have to get them to put the ring on? Yep. That doesn't Great. make any sense. Well, it's 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 a ring of light, and so putting the ring of light on the chaos uh, will put Aries back to sleep for good. And what are we supposed to do? Just watch. You're you supposed do to that? help me through the door, because if I if I die, ew, like. What if we just took the ring and did it without you? We think we know other other smidgens. <laughs> okay, then he hands you the ring. And as soon as the as soon as he t- he hands you the ring, the ring almost turns translucent, and almost like not it turns into light and it falls right through your it almost goes through your hand. What? Oh, what? He goes down. He picks it back up. He puts <clears throat> it back on himself and it materializes again. That let's do it again. Okay. Uh, okay. And he, <laughs> no, does, no, he no. does it again. Um. You see the ring turn into light, fall through Hannah's hand, go to the ground. He picks it up. It turns back into a solid. It it, it it's not. How did I mean, you are do you doing that? that? Like... I'm magic. It's uh well it's my I I'm apparently a descendant of Billford Boggin. Yeah, so the, about, about half the smidgens I've met in bars around here. Um, <sighs> all right, I have to. Let's just find this door. Ring me. Do you know where the door is, or like a clue? Any any? Yeah. Is it an actual door, or is it a, like a metaphysical door? Speaking of which, oh no, it is time to vote <laughs> in the first poll. So <laughs> chat. Get Option act- one: Is it a door? <laughs> yeah. Option two. Is it not a door? <laughs> no, it's a jar. You would be surprised how close you are. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get active in the chat. Let us vote for. Do they find it? Do they not find it? <laughs> they don't find it. The door. We just go back to the tavern. <laughs> I mean, honestly, getting drunk. Well, it's not a door at so your tavern better. anymore. Thanks, Diana. So. It's in. So it is in. It is in Palisade. Okay. Gotta go back up there. I'll have some ideas of where it could be. I'll have to look for it. Gotta, okay, we gotta open okay. it. Yeah, that's yeah, it. We, 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 we get ideas? the concept of opening it, going through it. What are your ideas good. of where it. it could be? Uh, well, see, here's the crazy thing. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but Palisade is one of the oldest uh, uh, places in this realm. Not the city per se, but like the existence of this area. It's one of the first areas that the gods created. That's why there's so much crazy energy here. Mm. I heard you had Narigoth come down. There's been a lot of craziness here. This is a hotbed for like mystical godlike craziness. 
Uh huh. Yes. So, the Thank door... you for mansplaining that to us. Well, I'm so, I'm sorry. Yeah, we do live here and defend it on like a regular basis. Well, it's just, it's I, uh, that's what I've read about the place. I'm sorry, but it is a crazy place. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, and um, yep, gotta find the door. Gotta find the door. I'm guessing it's either in the probably where the oldest part of town, which I'm guessing if you have a town square, that's usually where they keep all the old stuff. Uh, maybe hopefully they didn't build on. Hopefully they didn't build anything on top of it. Uh, door. Fingers crossed for sure. Question: mm -hmm. Does this cool new sword do anything that I need to know about? You have a plus one to all attacks, and you will find out what else the sword can do when you use it. Cool. Ooh. I don't know what my locket does yet, right? You do it not. It just looks pretty. You do not, yeah. Well, you've motivated me. <laughs> There's your song coming back. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, he's Hall's echo like. Yeah. We Bananas. killed the Phantom, right? We did do that. Uh, yeah, D married yeah. him and killed him. Yeah, we, that happened. Oh, yeah. How all my best relationships end. <laughs> <laughs> Death. He wouldn't tell you his chicken crumbly recipe. He just murdered him out. Yep. Well, yeah. I think we better we better try to find the store. Yeah, we should probably end the apocalypse before it, you know, happens. <laughs> that too. Yeah. True. yeah. Sounds I'm with good. Maddie on this one. So we'll follow you? I mean, I mean, no. it's your it's your town. Uh, uh, you so, know where the town. Oh, I thought you'd read is. all about it though, and knew where things were. I, I, I just read all about. I'm sorry, I, I just read all about the history of Palisade. I don't yeah. know. I'm so I, I, all I can do is lift the sewer grate. I can turn invisible sometimes. <laughs> I kind of can. Whenever I activate this ring, it gives me certain powers. It's kind of a uh, catch-all, but I'm gonna put a soft pause on you. Yeah, just soft pause. <laughs> We're going to have a little bit of a talky talk. Okay, I can sit back. Just right there. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's my first Rat Queen's Huddle. It's my first Rat Queen's Huddle. Okay, breathe okay. Breathe through it. Breathe through okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It actually is exciting. Okay. I'm excited for you. Okay, where do I stand? Where, where right do you... there. Okay. And yeah. we all like circle around and we like huddle. Okay. How you doing? Yeah. You ready? Okay. Here's my pitch. I, more than any of us, don't want this person involved with what we're doing. But I don't think we have the option. Yeah. Nope. Yep. Yeah, we can't really carry the ring. Not uh -huh. really going to happen. That's yeah. a good, astute contribution to your first Rat Queen circle. Well but done. we could carry him. So what if we knocked him out and just carried him with us? Braga, I okay. like where you're going. I want to uh, I wanna be there with you. I can't. Okay. Because here's what I'm thinking. We need to do something we normally wouldn't, which is just get along with this person and make him feel like a million bucks. Okay. I agree profoundly. I'm very good at positive reinforcement. I can... Uh... That's why this is going to be your job. <laughs> True. Okay. Uh, I think we all have to agree that none of us are good at positive reinforcement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. Despite all the attempts at... Or the book of leadership you read. Yeah, I mean, you know, I got pretty close to being good at it. But I think I'm just a little too irritated to make it, make it okay. The best your, leadership your, your choice we all made was that none of us were good at being a leader. Yes, so. true. So we have no leader. Yeah. So if you can just handle yeah. the, the positive reinforcement, sure, leading, yay, yay, you are good, yes, great job stuff, then we can get... Just, just done. done. Yeah. Yeah. You know, your role is to be the friend. So just be his friend. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's is... actually, wow. Listen, I wow, want to say Braca, that that's, that's why good. I thought of that's this. That's real good. It's not why I thought of it, but I want to say that I was that smart. Can I say, Hannah? This is some astute leadership from you. Oh, don't, I don't really liked this huddle. I yeah. really yeah. liked it it's all the way around. Huddle. Thanks. It's because yeah. like, my back feels pretty good in yeah, it, too. Totally. Like, it's a good pose. I still feel where her knuckle went into my spine, mm. and that actually is a Oh, yeah, she was me. just punching you. You yeah, know that, right? Yeah. Like, it might have helped you, but she was just, like, taking a chance to punch you. Didn't hurt, yeah. didn't help. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. it, you know, I don't blame her. Yeah. Uh, oh, we don't either. Like, <laughs> we all want to punch you sometimes, too. But, yeah, she did yeah. it for all of us. Yeah. And um, I will in say you gave way. me a, a wave of hope right now. I feel I feel more motivated than I have felt in this sewer the whole time I have been here. Some would say that I gave you a plus one to your hearts. Yes. Someone's... What are you? What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, plus make... one? What? Plus one? What? <laughs> to your hearts. I think we just roll no. with it. She seems, yeah, she it seems looks, so happy. Okay. It's it's like she's looking, looking, looking off in some direction at someone who's not there. Yeah. So strange. We rarely, we, rarely, we rarely get a Hannah who wants to go with the flow. Is she so losing it though? I'm kind of worried. Like, yeah, I know. We'll deal with it later. Right now we can... have a positive sunshine. Yeah. yeah. You're not the one whose wound she jabbed her this fingers This is the into. job I've felt. Oh. I've never felt more confident in a, in a role before until this very moment. Because <laughs> I'm not going to lie. A little, a little nervous about officially joining the the rat queens and you know stopping the apocalypse and having a lot of 
weight on my shoulders. It doesn't show. I, I'm going to tell you this right now. And uh, it was very nice of me. What I just did, all these things. It was very good, Hannah. There's the be, Hannah we know. I'm going to be real with you, though. If you don't think you're good enough to be a part of the Rat Queens, you're not good enough to be part of the Rat Queens. So you're going to have to cut out this shit of thinking you're not good enough because we don't have fucking time for it. In the end, this is really a tough love sort of advice. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. I'm feeling... Yeah. This, this huddle really reverted back to what we thought it was. Yeah. <laughs> now, cause now I, I, now I okay. feel back to yeah. where Hannah's, I'm Hannah's not as confident as I was. So. Yeah. Well, awesome. We Great. should probably break this huddle soon because he's just staring at us at this point. Okay. <laughs> and he has you kind moved. Of for Olin, for Olin, he's kind frozen. Of like, he's like looking around. He's kind of occasionally looking at you guys. He's like looking around again. It's like a video game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he kind of looks right. at his shoes. Hi. He does, he does the kick and he taps his like toes on the ground <laughs> yeah oh you speed eventually you got it and I took an uh, arrow ready? to the knee uh-huh and two go, years be to get here. Okay. go be a friend okay right. go be a friend go man go be go a man. friend go, go be, be a friend, friend. don't oh, go oh, yeah. okay yeah we'll do that be sure. confident oh yeah, yeah. I, i'm just gonna have my hand out and hope that yeah. you all yeah. did it okay cool cool yeah. cool, cool and requiem you were part of that no, we're never mind. mind. Yep. Nope. Yes. Anna, it was your it was your plan. Yep. Yes. I'm great sorry, job. Just... Great job. No, you're great. You're awesome. Good. Uh, good skills you have. Yes. Uh, we, we are ready to, uh, to do the thing and in in the apocalypse with you as our ring bearer to the aisle of the door. Awesome! Yeah, I'm so excited. Yay! Good. All right, so let's go. And you let's said the it. town square. That's uh, where you yes. thought it might I'm be. I'm gonna say start at the town square. Okay. Uh, let me actually. I'm so sorry. This is so, so silly of me. Let me pull out a book. As he goes into his bag and pulls out a book. All right. God's grant me compassion. Passion. Patience. Oh yes, the door. Oh, it is not a physical door. Oh, of course not. Uh-huh. It is a door that is. Um, oh, I wish I had my readies with me. Uh, it's a door that is here. Take mine. Oh, oh my goodness! Thank what you. What a friendly thing to do. Mm. Jinkies! Oh, what yes. a gesture! <laughs> <laughs> ah. oh. Things have gone terribly wrong as I walk into a wall. <laughs> I, like, I kind of like guide yeah. you back to us. I'm like holding on to you. Like. Uh. Fantastic. Uh, yes, uh, I'll be really quick with this. Uh, as I see you need them back. Uh, the door. The door is not a physical door. It is a door that is manifested by magic and be conjured by those who will it into existence. All right. Let's talk again. So the door could be anywhere. We could just will it into an existence right, right here, here and not have to travel. Uh, seems a good idea. That Let's would do take. We do need a few items. Oh. Okay. Uh, of course we do. What are they? Well, we need the ring. A check. Uh, we got it. We do need uh, uh, the chalk of souls and um, the hoo ha one. The, the cho- a chalk, a chalk of souls. A it's chalk. A, a chalk. It's a it's a chalk stick from uh, from one of the other realms. Oh, oh. a not good one. Okay, all right, easy. easy. Noted. Chalk uh, of souls. And then we do need. <sighs> um, this, uh, it's okay. We have word. all the time in the not um, apocalypse world. Um, uh, yes. Oh, hurry! Do you need some help? Sorry, I come over and I look at the book. Sorry, so sorry. We need. I come over and I look at the book too. You look at the book too, and you see that the last, the last part of conjuring the door is a bit smudged. So oh. he is kind of he's having oh. a bit of a hard time. Okay, buddy, I get he's it. He's like, all mm-hmm. right, um. I do think it's, uh, it's, I think that says, uh, a, a snag, a, uh, uh, a strip, a strip, a strip Wait, those two words don't sound at all alike. sea silk. Sea silk. Okay. A strip of sea silk. All right, silk. here you go. Uh, here you go. I <laughs> missed <laughs> completely. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> someone, someone help her. <laughs> Oh, you're welcome. Can I look at the same thing he just said strip of sea silk at and like maybe like roll get situated to see if I can read it better? Yeah. Okay. I will say it just says strip of sea silk, okay. like you looking at it too. Okay. And it's like it was smudged in a way, but yeah, you're as you look at it, you kinda see, <laughs> ah, I think this is what it was. Okay. Now, um So was that two items? 
two. All right, we have and chalk. And we already sword. have the ring. Oh, the ring. We, have. we definitely. So, is, what do we do with those? Is oh. there a place in Palisade where nowadays where a lot of fancy items, maybe like really, really expensive items, would be kept? Not like a museum, but I don't know, like like a not ex- exhibition, like a like a, a library, like, like a, a store, like the playing, or like thing? a like a f- not a fortress, like a, a vault. We Con- did yeah, destroy like vault. the vault from the merchants, but guild. that was two years ago. Maybe they rebuilt it since we Possible. did that. Yeah, that we. Oh, I like the sound of that. That if there's the best stuff in Palisade is kept there in a vault. Is there a vault there? That's right. Mm-hmm. Yes, we and actually, actually we get into it from the sewers. Sewers get us there. Yep. Yeah. Wow, this was good teamwork, I'd say. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. All you, right. You did kill the fans. Is that right? for the yes. strip of sea silk, or is that for the That's chalk? for both items. Oh, okay, These great. are not one of the ring, one of a kind. Can't. Mm, it's a one and yeah, only deal. Yeah, you mentioned it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Got it. We're Chocosols, on the same page with the ring. Chaka souls, very hard to come by. Same with strip of sea silk. These are these are very expensive, not common uh, common items. But if you do have a, a storeroom, you said of a merchant's guild where a vault would be, where very high end items are kept, especially being a port city like Palisade, there is a very high chance that those things are there. And if they aren't, well then I guess we improvise. Okay, so I guess we're gonna go and we're gonna break into the vault. This is my first <laughs> criminal activity with the Rat Queens. Very excited. Okay. Besides the whole, you know, uh, convention thing, we kind of broke the law there too. Oh, uh, yeah, but we solved the law. We did. We solved the law. Okay, let's go break into the vault. <laughs> let's do it. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I I just oh, I was just like you see he oh. just does like almost like a pose like as if it was like a freeze frame. Oh. Oh good. I didn't want to fist bump him. Okay. All um right. all right. You said you go through the sewer. Are the sewer? I'd like to um recollect my memory of to where that sewer was. Yes. Well, currently you are in the eastern sewer. I don't believe it was the western. It was the western sewer. The eastern sewer does connect to the western sewer. And it connects to the thigh bone. So mm-hmm. yes, you can either... <laughs> <laughs> and you can also you could also climb up and above. You could take the ladder up and you could go tread palisade above. No. Or you could stick to the eastern sewer does connect. The acoustics are way better down here. I say we. Oh yeah, that's a good reason. I, I can. Yeah. You know, we should do that. We yeah. should stay down here. Fall yeah. in for as much as we want you to lead us. We're gonna. We know the way. Oh no, I trust you guys mm. with my life. <laughs> <laughs> with my life. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great idea. You should completely trust us. Yeah. Yes, that's Good. correct. Good yes, we're your yes. friends. Yeah, friends, and especially. Maddie over here. She's a friend if I've ever so seen her. You two should hang back and chat while we walk. Yes, that's right. I have to walk quickly because of my recovery. The, the <laughs> physical therapist told me I had to. That, that tracks. Yep. And I have to walk with Violet. And I'm yep. the leader right now, so I'm going to forge the path ahead. I'm also going to say yes to that, ironically. <laughs> it's and okay. I have big strides. <laughs> so, bye! And now bye. we just go as fast as we can. <laughs> it's okay. I, I, I'm, I'm actually not very physically fit. So, uh, I'll, I can uh, I can probably match your, your little legs. Okay. Not that they're little. Like, your legs are fine. You're just, you know, I get it. I'm shorter. a smidgen. Yeah. I'm a smidgen. It's okay. You can say it. I know. I know what I am. I'm just not very fast either. You know, I'm more of like a, a slower. That's okay. Everybody, my, my grandfather told me everybody walks at their own pace, and that's how you get around in life. I and don't walk much at all. Or run, really. I mostly, uh, or, or anything physical, to the most part. Um, what, well, what do you do? Are you, you just play music? That's cool. Mostly. I've been training, though. I, I, I can fight. I have a sword. Oh, that's really it's cool. a sh- short sword, but it's a sword, and I've been training with it, and I've been told that I have hit things. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> as as Maddie and Frolin kind of hang to the back, we have Hannah, Violet, Braga, and Dee leading the front, and as you start to make your way, as you kind of take a small a small sewer sewer hallway almost a small sewer tunnel to that connects the eastern sewer system to the western sewer system you notice that there is uh, a gentleman 
standing off to the side near the western sewer entrance. I He's... swear to his grandfather, if that's another highwayman, I'm going to lose my shit. Right yeah. now. Sewer highwayman? Hi- sewer man? Sewer man. Sewer. I'm in the back going, what? <laughs> then we just walk faster. We yeah. just walk what a is little he bit faster. Yeah, what does he look like? I think they were talking about something. Oh, I wonder what it is. I don't know. Oh. It's probably about that man. There's a man? Uh, <laughs> you, the, oh, yeah. You, I, pe- I can't pick him up. Oh. I see him now. But so he is. I'm not very heavy, or I'm not Uh, very strong, so I drop him very quickly. Okay, I appreciate that. That was very nice. Uh, D, you look and you see that this gentleman is wearing these very, very elegant brown robes. He has this kind of this very nice leather notched belt. And you see that he has these, he's kind of has these beautiful golden half moon spectacles sitting on the edge of his nose and very slicked back salt and pepper hair. Wait, do I, do I recognize this person? Roll me 2d6 plus heart. Uh-oh. I think I, I think I might know who this is. Mm-mm. I got a, a math is fun. Nine. It's the best. You have tokens, right? Yeah, too. nine. And I'll use a token to make it a ten. Wonderful. With a ten. A ten. A ten. A ten. With a ten, <laughs> you first you notice that his his robes means he's a cleric of knowledge. He mm-hmm. is not only of of a knowledge seeker of the world, but he is also a seeker, of, a clerical knowledge seeker. So he is kind of, of all planes, of all types, seeking knowledge. And what they do is they collect knowledge, they write it down to books, and they are the keepers of knowledge mm-hmm. in this realm. And you notice that by, you kind of, you actually do recognize him from, let's say, one of your past, past travels into... Actually, I'll say he has visited Palisade once before. He is adjunct librarian, uh, Vayet Albasek. Oh, wow. Hi. Um, hi. Uh, 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 oh, hi, I'm D. Hi, you yes. helped me in the library one time. Yes, that's right. Yeah. D. What, D, what, yes. what are you doing oh, here? Yes. Well, uh... Well, first of all, I was taken down here into the sewers, and now I, I, I was, well, I came back to Palisade, I was traveling the world, collecting knowledge, came back to Palisade, because I wanted to observe the end of the world. Uh, actually, I wanted to bear witness to the saving of the world. I am familiar with the two prophecies, the prophecy of Arius, knowing now that Arius has returned, I have come to bear witness to it, make a record, Are and, you, and uh... hopefully that record will be preserved if the world is saved, if not... At least I died doing what I loved. Uh, you're not some kind of weird, like, follower of Arius, are you? Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I heed no god of any kind. I simply, I am a follower of knowledge. I'm a follower of knowledge in all sorts. Those who provide me knowledge, I, I absorb, I collect, I let it pass through me, and I record. Gonna take a shot in the dark here. What do we need the sea silk and the chalk of souls for in order to find this metaphysical door. What? Yeah, you talking? Wait. You said a chalk of souls and a strip of sea silk. Yes. Mm-hmm. I just now arrived. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? What's this? Oh, is this is this another friend? Yes. 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 Hello. Yep, this is our friend. I am a friend. Oh, I met him. You're very nice. Oh. I met I met this yes. this guy. Oh. Yes. Oh, cool. I think he's, I get he's pers- a cleric of knowledge. Oh, no. Yeah. Um, I make two d six okay. plus heart. Ooh. Ooh. What is it? It's a twelve. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. You can ask him three questions, or you can you can prompt the conversation in three different ways. Okay. Um. I just want to make sure you're. Uh, are you here to help us or hurt us? Well, I, I, I came to be quite neutral in all this, but I can help you, especially if your, if your friend here, D, says that you need to find chalk of souls and a strip of sea I'm silk. D. I'm D. D. Yes, your friend of D. Your friend of a friend oh, of D. Yes, is yes. here. Hannah. Yes, yeah. Hannah. I have a name, bro. I, I did not know it. Apologies. A seeker of knowledge didn't seek to know my name. Well, my name is is Vayet Albasek. I don't uh, give a shit. Can't. 
adjunct librarian. <laughs> uh, Hannah, uh, what is your name? Yes. I'm Maddie. Hi. Maddie, nice to meet nice you. To oh, meet that's you. a very good handshake. Thank you. I've been practicing. Oh, yes. Fan fa oh, yep, we're still doing this. Fantastic. Uh, Violet. Violet. Braga. Braga. D. And D. They're, they're, they're not Vate. much handshakers. That's Vate. Vate. Yes. Okay, so you're neutral in all this, but you can help us. That's good. No, I'm Frolin. Uh, I'm Frolin back here. Yeah, oh, I yeah, that's I Frolin. Told him, I told him your name twice. She told it to him, too. Okay. As, as, Frolin, hand <laughs> holds up, as Frolin holds up his hands, kind of gesturing to himself, you see Vayet's eyes light up as he goes over and he grabs Frolin's arm. Whoa. That's... Is that the Ring of Light? Yes, yes, it is. I'm here. Prophecy. Gonna help save the day, hopefully. Uh, yes, this is the ring. I am the bearer of the ring, Frolin Boggins. Uh, <laughs> chalk of souls. Strip of sea silk. And this ring. Yep. You're trying to summon the door. Yep. yep. Fantastic. So Correct. what you're going to do? You, just, you wanted to know what to do with it? Just well, yeah, what do we do with got? those yeah. things? Fantastic. Well, uh, from what I do remember of my of of the tomes, is that the uh, the door? Yes. Uh, first, you need the chalk. With the chalk, you are going to approach any hard surface, preferably stone. Uh, a good a good solid sur surface. You need a good solid door frame. I don't recommend doing this in sand or also doing this on the ground. So we're going to draw the door. You're going with to the chalk. draw the door okay. with the chalk, and then you're going to put the strip thing. of sea silk on the ground as the mat, inviting the planes onto this one and your plane to others. And then you're going to take that ring, and that ring you're going to put in the top middle of the door. That is your seeing eye through the door. That is what you will use to find the plane you're going to find. Okay, thanks. And I start cool. walking. <laughs> uh, that is incredibly helpful. It's very uh, helpful. Uh, before we leave you, I just have to tell you that neutrality is the enemy of good, and you really <laughs> should be picking a side. Your help, this help, really. Well, did I, well, help I don't us. want. I don't want Aries to win. No, I just meant like I'm not. I mean, I, I'm glad I did help you. I mean, I just was like, I'm. I'm just. I'm. I. I'm a pawn in this world's just game. Take, just take the note. Okay. Take the note. Okay. Consider it. You got caught. I got caught. You got caught for your for your words. I just I, I I just wanted to say that there's a lot of people down here. There's a there's a whole revolution going on, and and you could you're you're a brilliant person. Clearly, who would remember that? Who would remember that off the top of their head? You are a brilliant asset. So uh, I think you could probably help more than just us, even though. Yeah. You got knowledge. We're You've pretty been good recording people knowledge. Yeah. Speaking of which, is there anything? This is my third question, I guess. Yeah. Is there anything else from your vast knowledge that will help us get through this and defeat Arius? Now's your chance, buddy. There's five of you, right? Mm hmm. And plus one. And, and, and yes. The ring bearer. The ring bearer, but the, the five of the fellowship. You must all go through the door. Okay. That is crucial in all of this. If if the world is to be saved, if you are the ones to you are the ones to say it. What am I even saying? You are the ones who who are tasked with this. If you are to be successful, then all five of you must go through that door. That sounds pretty okay. easy, right? Yeah. They just go through the door. Yeah, I think that's all right. right. Unless one of us dies again. Who are you going to replace me with? <laughs> I don't know. Like our uh, options are uh, not. They're they're slimming. Maybe like maybe like a stick with horns that yeah. can breathe fire. Uh -huh. Maybe just like a pissed off dog. Yeah. Oh know? yeah, that would be good. That yeah. can oh, yeah. that can throw fireballs. Yeah. I Willy that nilly. Giant like a hide, like a hydra. Could be come back Wait, from the dead. Maybe just a tavern on fire. You know what? We'll I... replace you with a tavern that's on fire. If I died and went to the ethereal plane, I'd miss this. <laughs> Oh, yeah. we miss you too. Aww. Me too. <laughs> I miss it. All this talk of death <laughs> makes me a little uncomfortable, but <laughs> cool. I'm good. It's the only way to deal with the difficulties. Yeah. Make fun of them. Yeah. Okay, let's go find chaos and put a ring on it. <laughs> hey! I'm not ready to commit. Hey, yo. <laughs> I'm going to do what you said. I'm. You're right. It's it's silly of me to be a passerby in in this terrifying event. So I'm going to go back there and see see what all I can offer to to that the, the resistance. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, and thank you for. Uh, we literally didn't know what to do. 
until uh, you told us. So I yeah. uh, really yeah. appreciate it. I'm honestly so excited to record this because I will have been the one person, one cleric of knowledge, adjunct librarian, uh, who got a hands-on interview with those saving the world. Oh, yeah. As they oh were, this was as, off the record. Just As just they were doing the, it. Oh, what? Nothing. Well, no. this is, that's, that's tenure material, <laughs> uh, it sounds yeah. like to me. An adjunct. Yeah, that's, yes. that's I'm going to be, bunch of I'm, this is after the world malarkey. is saved and I'm living. Uh, what's this going to be? Yes, going up straight well, to the top. You, that won't happen at the world end, so that just continues <laughs> to stick with uh, the plan of, of being yeah. on the side of good this time. Oh, yeah, we'll on do. the side of good, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Side of yeah. good, of yep. course. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of explaining to do otherwise. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool. Uh, We're going to go do our thing now. <laughs> All right. You've been fantastic. And then we just keep walking. Yeah. As the five queens and Frolin Boggins make their way further and further into the western sewer system, we cut. Ooh. Thank you so much for getting us to five times. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> nice job, Chan. Thank you, Chan. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 <laughs> wow. 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 Sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. We all became Owen Wilson for a minute. Wow. 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 Poor Emily, who's just like... I'm so sorry, Emily. <laughs> this is a Wes Anderson film. Wow. 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 <laughs> we cut to Death's Parlor. <laughs> Inside Death's Parlor, a black tea table with a black tablecloth and a beautiful black porcelain tea set sits there. A, smite, a slight steam rises from the teapot. On the black mantle, we see an assortment of, of dark knickknacks here and there. And a, a beautiful black mahogany bookcase lined with assortment of black books. Black curtains line the windows. As we see Death sitting in a beautiful parlor chair. With a black light poster. <laughs> <laughs> All black everything. With Betty. <laughs> Sorry. Sitting in the chair across from Death. Death begins to pour Betty a cup don't of tea. I must say, uh, this is a very unique and personal circumstance. You see, uh, my daughter, in fact, reached out to me and asked if I would... Do her a favor, just this once. We have not talked in a long time, and so... <laughs> As Death takes a sip of tea and kind of laughs into the cup, he puts it back down, smiling at Betty. Just this bony skeleton face smiling at her. People think Death is, uh, is so cold and hard. Well, I try to be a good father, and so if I can do something for my daughter, well then, uh, I will. So, that is why we are here today, Betty. We are here to see if we can make a deal. A deal that will get you back up there. A deal that will hopefully restore whatever's happening. You see, not a lot of souls are coming down right now. Everyone seems to be going into some kind of fugue state. And that's no good for business, if you're me. Uh, so, <laughs> let us see. What is the deal we will be making today? Ladies and gentlemen, I had Michelle roll 2d6. While she was away. <gasps> oh, my goodness. She sent me the results of that roll. The death roll in Dungeon World has no adds on to it. It is a straight roll. <sighs> All right. So, yours is a tricky one. Prophecy. It's very, very hard. What to do? What to do? As Betty sits there and smiles. I have a proposition to make. How about a drinking contest? <laughs> <laughs> That's our girl! We cut back to the five. We'll cut back and forth, rest assured. We cut back, too, and we will find out the results of this letter at the end of tonight's episode. 
what will happen to Betty. We cut back to the five queens and Frolin making their way through the western sewers. You find yourself in a very familiar area, one that you first arrived in when back in time Palisade, back when you had to first find the Palisade uh, Merchant's Guild storeroom. As you make your way down one uh, sewer hallway, you kind of see the two side cisterns that branched off of each other. Nothing really seems to be going on in there. As you continue to make your ways down into the large western cistern, where, yes, D, you have very vivid memories <laughs> oh, of being here last. Goodness. <laughs> yep. Oh, it, I remember this place real, real good. Are there, like, rotting corpses or, like... like <laughs> Is there a lost smidgen a, that never got out of here? A <laughs> Is it somewhere? Yeah, something. Mm. Some, something indicative of what took place here. Yeah, or that's that like his uh, friend, his and his little like housing structure. Oh, yeah. Is that still up? Wasn't Christopher Walken there too? Uh, yes, I don't remember. <laughs> what do we see here? Oh, God gets situated. Can, uh, yeah, can we um, can we get situated? Who would like to get situated? I'd like to get situated. Roll me two d six plus canny. Well, oh, I feel like oh. I have a concussion. <laughs> well, <laughs> actually, you chances. weren't there. Oh, actually, that's I'm gonna... true. Do we have a second? We have six second chances if you'd like to use them. We're gonna have to try. Okay, yeah. can't be worse. I, I like mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> literally yeah. can't, can't get worse. <laughs> oh, oh, great. Yeah. Okay, uh, an eleven. Fantastic. With an eleven. Uh, first describes me how uh, at first this was a mix or the first this was a fail. It was a fail. Yeah, it was yeah. beyond fail. Yeah, I, I tried to think. I, I tried to form oh. a, a thought, and I went into darkness. And I think uh, it was just yeah, uh, it came right back to me. I think I think it was just a. a it's been a long year. You're probably yeah. dehydrated. Oh, I oh. handed my canteen. Thank you. Aww. Thank you. Gosh, Maddie. Mm. How friendly. And then I got <sighs> hydrated. Oh, actually, I remember everything clearly right now. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Memory water wood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you, Betty. Yeah, now I remember everything. Violet, as you look I'm around. Not Betty. <laughs> oh, shit, that's awkward. What? You just called her Betty. I know we're all grieving. It's but... fine. It's fine. Uh, I, I I know I'm just a replacement. Uh, oh, it's fine. I, I'm sorry. I know I, you're I all still. I thought it was my dwarven accent. Coming Maddie. to turn I... terms with with the loss of her teammate, and I'm, I know I'm just a very poor substitute. It's fine. No, I... I, no, I drink the water. Oh, to forget. Before spiking. <laughs> <laughs> just... I'm sorry, Maddie. I am grieving. Probably why I just. Flubbed this. It's fine. It was awkward. Now, what do I see? <laughs> Violet, as you look around, you see that, uh, yes, it has been, it's been a little over two years since you were last down here with Dee after she got together with the, the phantom of the Suar. Forced to get together. Forced with to get together. <laughs> then you later destroyed him and murdered his, murdered him and his friend. Murderized uh, him. Thank you for that. So you see that, yes, it's almost two and a half years of decay where once this, this kind of shabby underground sewer home had been built, these, these flats, this bed, this large organ now has just kind of rotted into shambles. You've seen that different pieces of wood have been ripped out. Perhaps there's other people who live down here who came down here to ransack this makeshift home that the Phantom made. But yes, it's essentially in ruins and simply <coughs> nothing more than, than a dirty, rotting cistern. That is the first thing you see. The next thing you see is you look up and you see where kind of where this big cistern, where this the light is coming from into this cistern, where uh, a small uh, well with a grate on it from the western side of Palisade resides. And you see that, or you sense that you feel this rain coming down. And as this rain coming down, it doesn't really feel like water. It almost feels like ink or like a, a sludge. So you start to see from this, from the hole in the cistern come is raining down this 
this kind of dark purple sludge from the sky. I think we should not touch that. Yeah, good idea. And then the third thing you notice, because it was a complete success, mm-hmm. you're not alone in here. Oh, fuck. And you sense that. Um, hi, uh, <laughs> SOS, everybody. Uh, <laughs> what's it? We're coming in for a meeting. Shut the fuck up. Oh, oh, oh. is this another huddle? Yes. I, both of you, we're, we're skulking. Oh, sorry. Oh, skulking. Shut Shh. Up. Stop. Violet. I am going to communicate something to you. Okay. And you are going to have to stay calm. Is it charades? What? Maddie. What? Maddie. Maddie, inside You're at voice. an 11? Oh, what do you sorry. get like a 3? I'm just really excited. Yeah. That's fair. This is exciting. It also could get us all killed. Someone else is here. Okay? Yep. <gasps> Yeah, that was perfect. I'd like to kick my staff against the floor and see if I can make it do lightness stuff and, like, illuminate who's here. <laughs> Calm like, down, Gandalf. <laughs> 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 I'm just, like, all I'm just like, no, it's 100%. Hannah the Grey. Look out. <laughs> it is. It is. It is. That is her role. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. That's why I have a lot. Okay, see, I'm getting it. <laughs> is this Lord of the Rings? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it it was a joke. I got that part, but now I see why we have weapons. <laughs> that coincide. Okay, look, guys. I, 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 You're killing it. <laughs> I strike the floor with my staff. Roll me 2d6 plus skill. I don't. How's it skill? I don't even know how to use this. It's a magical staff. Six, seven, eight, nine. I'll use one of my seven tokens. <laughs> How many are there now? Six. Okay, great. That's that's math. Why yeah. don't they give me more? Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. Math is fun, to quote my friend. Is there... <laughs> me? <Yeah>. Oh. <laughs> so why are you looking at me? Did I say that? I said yeah. that. Oh, I did. Okay. Sure. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hannah, is there any sort of words that you say while doing this? Do I... In- do I intimate what to say just by doing this? Am I? You like... have a sense of what I will say that when you feel the staff, you have you get this almost this staff of golden light, golden staff. I'll do this. You have this sense of yeah, what yeah. to do. You know that you should probably you know that you can probably conjure light with it. You don't know how, so you you sing it. Yeah, like staff of light. Oh, that's good. And I call it. <laughs> what? <laughs> It's a staff. It does light things. Illuminate the person that's in here. Can I help? <laughs> I was like, saying she already did roll, so oh, you're oh. just okay. supporting me. Now. I, now I'm just, I'm just like giving you back. The roll too was for you, you just to, helping for you, to You're just hitting the staff against the ground, right? To and, make it do things. Yes, as and, you sing this beautiful thing leading up to it, nothing really happens until you then take the staff to the ground, <laughs> and you see as the staff hits the the kind of the the sludgy. Uh, icky tire, like a stone ground of the sewer. Uh, you see this light kind of shoot, almost this wave of light shoot out from under it as it coats the ground and then starts to Ooh. shoot up against the walls. Ooh. It almost kind of illuminates the room around you, and there you see standing almost directly off to your right in one of the kind of the the hideaways of the cistern. You see a figure. Ah! I'm going to throw hem- my loot at it. <laughs> you're going to throw your oh, loot? No! Oh. Well, nope, she said you're, it. You're going to yeah. throw your loot? I, it, it startled me. I get... I, I, yeah. Roll, I get me, roll me 2d6 plus skill. Oh, and roll into the tray so the audience can see the Roll me 2d6 oh, oh, that's plus the, skill. Uh, woo! Nine. Yes. Woo. Good. You want to add any tokens? Ten. Do I? Yes. So you get that loot pack. Yeah, girl. Oh, yes. I I would like to a 10, please. Wonderful. With a 10, I will say that yes, your loot does I just not pa- I just panicked. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. It's okay. I will say you yeah, your luckily your loot does not break as you throw it. I will say you throw it pretty hard because you made it into a 10. It does hit. Yes. The figure standing there and you see this figure uh get bonked on the head a bit and kind of stumble backwards over the first time you really see how lanky and tall this figure is Do hannah you okay you start to recognize who this figure is as a member of your party who is no longer with us would have recognized them immediately oh stinky pete Whatever. You druggy, sell druggy, drugs. Druggy Pete. Druggy Pete. Druggy, druggy, druggy Danny. Druggy, druggy Danny. Danny. <laughs> Good friends. All friends. Go way back. <laughs> Pete. Uh, Bill. Uh, Billy Bob. Joseph. 
Mark. As, and as you as you call out druggy Danny, you see him kind of come into the full light of the cistern, and you see that he has these black veins throughout oh. his body. And you see that his fingers have grown into these these claw like hands, and you see that his eyes are replaced by stone. He's oh. had a bad fix. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If only it were because of drugs. Mm-hmm. Does not my staff of light beam some of that shit out of him? As you remember from last, uh, uh, from your last escapades in your home, you notice that it takes a huge amount of light. It, it takes to stun to them. stun right. them. Didn't it doesn't I just e- make a bunch of light. You made more of a scanning light, not a direct light. Can it was I a make lot a of direct light with mine. Staff? You can try. I'm gonna try because I feel really underwhelmed now, by what I've uh, done. Oh shoot! I threw my Help loot. Me. Oh, you did. Yeah. Yeah. But I have, I have a pan flute. <laughs> right? I, I think I get. I think I have two. I just want things. to play on my pan flute. Quick! <laughs> did you just make that? Up? No, do you want to? Okay. Are you trying to okay. assist? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's gonna help me. Roll me two d six plus your Hannah bond. Oh, you use yes. Oh shoot! I was supposed to do it in there. Did, it wasn't. A, it wasn't. A, was it gonna be a twelve? Just do it in here. Because it, it was just six and a five. Oh. That's still good too. Eleven. Yeah. Wonderful. So, so you get a plus two to this helps. roll, Hannah. All right. Sorry, I keep, I'm just. No, sorry. Fuck. Plus two? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Five. With what? Skill? Skill. Six. Seven. Eight. Gonna use two of those tokens, and I'm gonna be... Do you, does she get any pluses on her magic with the staff? Oh, yeah. Yes. You get a plus, plus one. one. So I'm gonna only use one of my tokens. I shouldn't have used the other token before. Oi. Oh, well, there shit. You go. Oh, you use the tokens over here. You use the fucking tokens. You get a You use the tokens. Damn it. With a 10. <laughs> so, Maddie, with your, you do a little do 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 do. Yeah. <laughs> let, let there be light! Do do! What? Do do do! Hannah, as you, as you extend, as you extend, uh, your new opal, opal, <laughs> opal esque staff towards Druggy Danny, you fire a beam of light that is so blinding that it hurts. The other oh. Violet, Braga, and D, even Froland's like, oh, oh. Sh-. it hurts to see it as it pierces through. And it goes through, and immediately you see, Hannah, you are immune to it. You don't feel the pain of the light. Mm. And instead, you actually see the light pierce through Danny's right eye. And you see the light shoot throughout the back of him as the hematite stone cracks Whew. and starts to fall down. I take no pleasure in this, but I do. And suddenly he is now charging towards you, Violet. Oh, perfect, because I just want to cut his head off with my sword. <laughs> oh, my God! Wow. Oh, my God! <laughs> we have to. What? What are you doubting? He's still Danny. Maybe you can, like, just we've take him tr- down. <laughs> we've been trying to spare. But no, but in- but this is like six seconds of time, so we she have doesn't have. We sword light light thing. Fine, fine. As I have a moment to have someone tell me otherwise, I <laughs> yeah. want to I want to knock him out with the blunt side of my sword, but it's still the same action. Wonderful. Roll me 2d6 plus guts. <laughs> you go to cut it off and then fold it around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Can I use this? A menacing yeah. move. True. Ooh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You want to use another one of those rerolls? Yeah. Um, we yeah. have five rerolls remaining. Well, well, we have plus How many tokens do I have? And add a plus one. For Violet, you have three. Yes, and anytime you use your chosen one weapons, the tools of the chosen, you get a plus one. Okay, so that's six, seven, eight, and I have three tokens. So then I'll use two of them. Nice. Nicely done. Fantastic. With a ten, describe to me how, yes, you run up and you hit him with the so, blunt edge of your sword. So I go, I run up, and I'm just ready to chop his head off. And then I hear, and I go, no! And then I Don't just tilt him. it. <laughs> and I, uh, <laughs> but it was still same momentum. So same momentum. He was going to be de- decapitated. <laughs> and then he, <laughs> so he so just kind of like, you smack full, him on the side of the full face. Full impact. Yeah. I will say, yeah, you smack him right kind of on the temple. So you hit him right mm-hmm. on the side of the head where... We're at the same side as his right eye, where Hannah has just blasted his eye out. It was still badass. Thank you. And you Thank see you. him staggering there. He's still he's still putting up a bit of a fight. You see one of his hands goes towards his face as the other one almost he kind of outstretches his hand. And you start to see the claws 
like these these hematite like claws grow out of his hands and what? keep extending, extending, and extending I'm until swing he has to like hit just the claws. Like I'm, I'm like aiming for like the spot above his hand where his claws are going. His like of. nails are like a foot long now, and he yeah. has these yeah, not these long sharp nails, guys. Yeah, well, <laughs> long nails. Well, 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 he needs a well, 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 call me the manicurist. Badly. They're taking a swipe at him. Roll me two d six plus guts. Okay. I might have spoken too soon. <laughs> Murdering him. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Well, that is going to be a 12. So it describes me. You just aim for the claws? Yeah. I, I see the claws growing out of him, and I just kind of go like, nope. I, just, I, I, I go, nope, and I cut those right off of them before he can do anything with them. The manicure. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. You come up behind, you immediately swipe at his claws, and they just you just hear this almost crack, 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 and this almost beautiful ching. As your, as your blade kind of swipes through cleanly through Druggy Danny's hand claws, as you now hear the crack and the crumble of these five hematite like stone claws hit the ground and start to crumble on the floor. As he is now, you start to, you, Braga, you being the closest one to him, <laughs> Violet as well, you start to see almost his shoulders start to shake. And you start to see this black starting to pool out oh of the wound in his eye. I run over and I take a sleeping mushroom from Betty's bag and I just like pop pop one at him. You want to throw it at him? Yeah. <laughs> what mushrooms did you use? Wait, what she was got, she? she took all four. You yeah. took all four. I gave, I gave her the whole bag of them. You gave her the whole bag. There were, I will say that there was two of each mushroom. Oh, so okay. So we you, only used one so far yes. on the tree. But what did you use on the tree? So you sleeping and hallucinogenic. Okay. Yeah. That's oh, right. so I you just want to use the tree. So you want to use the other sleeping. So it's one hallucinogenic, yeah. one sleeping, oh, wait, yeah, and what's sorry. the other one? One hallucinogenic, poison? one sleeping, one, one poison, poison yeah. and one stun. That's right. Um, I would like to sleep him. <laughs> oh, God. All right, you're going to use the last sleeping shroom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Roll me two d six plus. Sleep I'll say him. you're how you're not very close to him, are you? I, well, of, I'm. I'm. You want to? I'd like up? to run up and you know deliver it right in his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Roll me two d six plus guts. You're gonna sleep guts. right in his mouth. Ooh. Oh well, ten without any. I don't even know if I have guts. Oh, I have no, one. So that's to. eleven. Yeah. It's an eleven. Yeah. Fantastic. Describe to me how you run to. up. You run up and you deliver this mushroom. I literally, it's like I'm. I'm like sp- speed. Uh, sowing a garden like seeding a garden like I have this bag under my arm and I just run up and I'm like boop right into the <laughs> Johnny apple seeding it yeah exactly. thank you treat. thank you because because Braga had infuriated Braga and Violet had infuriated Danny his mouth was in, like just open ready to make some kind of call or screech oh dear that you put a mushroom into and immediately he closes his mouth and for an instant you see his shoulders relax and you feel a hint of his humanness there upon ingesting a mushroom. (laughs) (laughs) But then... Familiar. But then you see his shoulders become rigid again as his arm starts to fall down and you just see this hollow white eye with no pupil and this black ooze coming out of it just as he slowly stumbles backwards and falls onto the ground and falls asleep. Let to be a lesson to you, Maddie. Drugs will always get you in the end. Yeah. Okay. Note to self, don't do drugs. Got it. Oh, <laughs> this I didn't is say a that. teaching yeah. moment. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. We're just cool. still... You too, Frolin. Uh, yeah, about that. I'm worried about that. What? About oh, what? God. As what? he points to the center of the cistern where... The rain, or the the goo-like rain, was raining down, and you start to see these huge, kind of dark purple puddles forming. And then, out of one of the puddles, you see something oh, emerge. Oh no! It's a hand. Oh. oh and crap. then you see another hand emerge. Oh mm-hmm. crappers! And then you see like two back animal legs emerge. Oh, oh no! And you see this head come out, and it rotates uh, 180 degrees until it sits forward. Oh, no. And you see it just unhinge its jaw, and in this kind of goopy form, it slowly starts to solidify. You see these hematite jagged teeth, just rows and rows of teeth from the bottom jaw and the top jaw of this creature. 
Yes. Is this someone we recognize, or is this just a purely gooey it's a monster? It's purely gooey Beast. chaos monster. Oh, well, monster. then I am right on it with my axe. As soon as, as soon as it starts forming, coming up, as soon as I know I'm not hurting a townsperson, I am just going, just axe crazy on it. You see that uh, 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 it, not only is it one puddle, there are three puddles there. So two similar creatures have now emerged uh, from these puddles. Yeah. These are, are about the size of miniature horses. So they are not, not small, tiny creatures to deal with. They are formidable forces. I take but. out my bow and... And an arrow, my, my new fancy golden mm -hmm. opalescent bow, and take aim at one of them. Mine's eye. I, yes. I run to my loot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I will say, yes, you were able to recover your loot. It's right by Druggy Danny, yeah. and as you pick it up, like his hand kind of moves for a second. Okay. It's a little spooky. I'm going to like take a little thing out of my thing and put it under his head. Aww. Aww. So kind. Sweet dreams. Yeah. I'm going. I'm going. Act crazy in the first one of those I see. So you would like to use your bow? <laughs> Roll me two d six plus skill. Okay. Eight. How many tokens? D. I I have you one. have. I don't think I have any. Three. Wait, nine. Because you have the plus one. Oh, plus one. So I have nine. I'll make it a ten with one token. Wonderful. Thank Describe you, Chad. To me, this shot, D. Oh, well, this is a new, I don't know at all its powers, so I think I'm just using a bow and arrow. And as I release it, it uh, uh, it just, as it flies away from me, the arrow starts to like spin and this spiral, beautiful, like golden energy comes out behind it. And then when it pierces the beast's heart, it um, kind of like sends a shock wave of golden light through it. Ooh. Exactly that. You Whoa. see this shock. You say this. You see this beautiful opalescent arrow just sitting in the chest of one of these these chaos creatures' hearts. As you suddenly see these, go, like there's almost this bright flash of light go on, kind of go off inside of it. As you start to see these golden veins start to form in this creature, and you start to see its gooey form hardening more and more as it takes further steps. This, these gold veins kind of keep spreading throughout and you see that this creature is in immense pain from whatever you just did to it. Doesn't die? Not yet. Oh, no. <laughs> this is a oh. penultimate episode. I'm not going to say you shoot an arrow. Oh, but die. <laughs> Give a little some, some, I'm some I'm, tough. I'm, yeah, cause I'm, I'm just... Because like, I've been pissed off for like a day now and I haven't been able to kill anybody because they've all been my friends. So uh, this is the first <laughs> thing I can just kill the shit out of and I'm going to kill the shit out Which of it. Which one are you heading towards? Are you heading towards the one that D just fired an arrow at? Uh, was that the first one that came out of the ground? I will say, which would you? No. I, I figured you were heading for the first one, and I was heading yeah. for one of the other two. That That's what I thought as well. Yeah. So yeah, D The has one that you were describing at the very beginning is the one that, as soon as it started to come up, before before I even knew the other ones were there, mm -hmm. I was like, yeah. fuck yeah, just get it. <laughs> like, I was so excited. <laughs> like whack-a-mole. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. So yeah, I will say almost as if Braga, as that one had finished forming, the other two were forming, you were charging towards that one, while D, you saw Braga charging towards the middlest one, you lined up a shot on the rightmost creature, yeah, and that is back. what happened. Mm -hmm. She was giving me coverage. Flanking you. Yep. Roll me 2d6 plus guts. All right. Okay, All right. that is going to be another 12. Amazing. Describe me this, this hit. Yeah, you know that thing you described? It's gone now. Okay. Uh, no, I don't. I don't know how this axe works yet because the first time I used it was against the the fingernails. But it's the mm -hmm. big. It's a double-handed axe, right? Like it's a giant. Yes, great it's a axe. huge axe. So, but it's strangely like lighter for me to use than I thought it would. Be. Like it's like a, like a fluid motion. Like I feel like it's like almost like it's the extension of my arm at this point. It's like a dance. And I kind of just like yeah, I kind of do like it's almost like what I'm imagining in my head is like you know in Crouching Tiger when like they're like. Doing almost like calligraphy with the giant, like with this, like moving around. That's what I imagine. Like it's almost like I just like, almost like just carve my name into it. Like that kind of level of just like, oh wow, this is actually a really good axe. Like, yeah, <sighs> wow. I will say you do that, and and as you kind of beautifully you see these, you have these beautiful carving motions. You start to hear this sizzle as your axe, as your blade, kind of keeps keep piercing throughout this creature. And you see that you have left these almost these golden gashes into this creature. And you notice that as your blade cuts into these chaos creatures, it does a very similar thing that you've seen chaos blades do. They their bodies do not the goo in their bodies do not start to heal. Ooh. The cut stays permanently there. Alright. So you slice through and you actually cut one of the arms, the legs off one of these creatures as well. You leave a nasty gash over uh, the right 
shoulder and you cut off the entire left arm. Okay. Yeah, I think it might even look kind of brutal to everybody else. I think Braga's just like pissed off and this is like her first chance to just unleash a lot of her fury right now. So she's just going for it. Fantastic. The leftmost creature starts to charge at you, Maddie. What do you do? Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. I, start, I start playing Eye of the Tiger. Yep. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Um, well, first off, I'm looking at, at at your staff and the bow and arrow and the axe and going, oh my gosh, all I got is a piece of jewelry. I feel kind of gypped right now because I don't know what it does, but maybe it does something. Can, so, I, th- can I throw her my, my sword? Can I do that? You want to throw her your sword? Can I? Oh, gosh. Sure, I'll well, say you throw her your sword. Do you have something your... you were planning on doing? Oh, gee, I... I was going to open my locket and try to do go it. full metal and see if that if I can combine what I know to do with a locket power, but I put, instead it might just be pretty. Like, look at, <laughs> like, like here, let me bestow jewelry upon your head, but I don't think that's a good idea to I do. I think you should try it. Yeah, yeah. I think it's worth you trying. You try to open the locket, and you can't for some reason. Okay, well, that sucks. You see, actually, as you, know, as you try to open the locket, you actually notice for the first time there's an inscription on the back and it says i will only open when the time is right oh my gift sucks <laughs> and as she says sucks i just throw her my sword and my hand-eye coordination sucks too <laughs> <laughs> and i'm beheaded and that's the apocalypse thank you so much for playing with us yeah, thank you all so much for having We're me Bye. Bye. For the sword. Bye. <laughs> actually do i catch the sword you catch the sword <gasps> maddie you actually look at Violet, and oh! Violet, you look at Maddie, and you feel a combo yes! coming on. <sighs> yeah. Thank you, Chad. Oh. What are we going to call it? Uh, i got to think of some... Yeah. Ginger Vitus! Oh! Yes. That's exactly Ginger right. Vitus. Ginger Vitus. That's exactly That's right. Uh, and so, as I, as I threw her the sword, yeah. she caught it perfectly. How... Um, I just, I'm going to go underneath you, uh-huh. and then I'm just going to throw your body up towards the mouth of this creature. That's a great idea. <laughs> I've nothing, no idea has ever been said. That's that great. <laughs> and then you're going to slice its mouth off because of okay. ginger, ginger vitus. Can I, <laughs> with, the combo, can, with the combo, can I also go full metal? Can I go the, my, my metal hurlant when I shout with great force? Or play a shattering note. Can, so I will say you shat- can do that as well. It's going to be an auto success because it is a combo together. So I'll say oh, that you can do that as well. Okay. Are you ready, Maddie? Ah, all right. Ah, <laughs> and then full metal. <laughs> you see, yeah, you just see, similar to Thor and Thor Ragnarok, you just see Maddie oh coming God. down with this beautiful blade. And you see, as the blade gets closer and closer to this creature, the opalescent blade starts to illuminate more and more like silver <gasps> until it comes down your, what are you, you're slicing the note, you're slicing like the nozzle of the creature. The, yeah, mm-hmm. that's exactly the what mouth, I'm doing. If, the jaw, if, they're, if it's the jaws jaw. are like this, I'm just going straight for, I'm just going to, this is my jawbreaker! Mm-hmm. <laughs> As you take it. <laughs> See, <laughs> but way better than ginger bite. It's way better, way better. I don't know if they're both good. As you take the sword down on uh, this leftmost chaos creature's muzzle, the sword just cleanly cuts through. And you notice that as soon as it cuts through, that creature, the the creature's part, the mouth of that creature turned immediately to stone. And you hear the stone, like this concrete like hit against the ground. Interesting. That rocked! That was well, pretty that, awesome. I'm like, Get it? Because it's... It ro- oh, I should be oh, yeah, oh, 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 pretty oh, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Great. yeah, yeah. I, I, when right I get in, nervous, yeah. I make puns. <sighs> no, that, that's great. That's absolutely great. That was so Step amazing. Back. I got to do a combo with you. That was yeah. just really cool. And I was like, oh, it's still alive! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you should, you should kill it now. in front of her. You just stand in front of her with the sword? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That was so it, cool. I'm like, I'm looking for... What's his face? To be like, did you Frolin. see that? Oh, I was like, did you see that? Did you see Frolin, that? you just see Frolin standing in the back, looking really, really nervous. Just like, yes, it's so, it's so good. Yeah, it's really, really, really good. I did, I did a combo with Violet. I know, it's really, really cool. You that did was my it. first Frat Queen's combo. Really? I think so. It looks like it was flawless. Okay, like cool, you've done cool, it before. Like I think it was she's gonna kill hers. it now. Like she oh, watch it. Watch. I'm gonna watch. Okay, well, everyone watch. And then I just want to run towards the heart of this creature. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to run, run towards it and stab it in the heart. As you, yes, as you, run me 2d6 plus guts. I am so writing a song about this. Gingivitis. Oh, 
No. No. Hey, it could still be. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> so I think we're going to have to do a second chance. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, let's do it. Roll well, remember me. the plus one, so you might have mixed success there without it. But. Oh, yeah. So that well. is a six. That was a seven. Right? Yeah, it right. would be a seven. Yeah. Do you uh -huh. want to do a second chance? Yeah, might as well. People paid for it. Well, wait. Didn't I? Because I have a power where if I oh, because I guess I I didn't aid her. Yeah, yeah. No, she rolled before uh, you could. Because I had a. Uh, oh, no, that's okay. okay. We learned. We learned. We learned. Um, so I'll know should for next I take time. this? Should I take this seven? Still learning my powers. What do you think? <laughs> Inside. You don't have no tokens. It lie within you. No. You don't. Mm -mm. So right now it's a do seven. It. So, but mix success can make another one. How many rerolls do we have right now? You have five. Chances. If you use one, you will have four. Did Thank you. Did you get use your plus one on your item? Yes. Yeah. I got her to seven. Did she use the plus one that I gave everyone to the heart with the pot? That time? wasn't real. <laughs> <laughs> I believed it. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Um, uh, uh, I already uh, gave you plus one weapons. Is it not enough? I know. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it's not. <laughs> a seven it is. A seven it is. Ooh, I, I I'm taking right. a seven. Taking a right. seven. It still would have been an eight. It wouldn't have mattered anyway. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. I think it's right. Fantastic. With a seven. Violet, you are incredibly close to this creature and you are incredibly close to the open hole where the rain sludge is coming down. As you take your sword, and where are you trying to aim on this creature? His, uh, this, not his, its muzzle is now gone. So you start to almost see beneath the sludge, you do see almost this, this crystalline bone structure in there and you start to see, yeah, what it would look like if you cut something off at its Muzzle. Ugh, gross. Oh, so upsetting. I'm so sorry. And then I'm going to, I try, I'm wanting to stab it in the heart. Well, let's just stab it in the heart. Fantastic. With a mixed success, you do, you are able to stab it in the heart. And as your sword pierces through it, you see that this, almost like this stone where your sword makes impact on this creature's sludge-like body, you start to see this concrete like stone start to spread from there it's very very slow so this creature is still writhing somewhat but it is slowly being eaten by this stone as it takes two steps back kind of hiding behind uh its leader which has taken a formidable blow from braga but unfortunately because you are standing by the open area some of the the, the purple essence sludge falls down onto your bandaged arm oh. and starts to seep into the bandages that as you take two points of damage and you feel this this stinging sensation. <sighs> okay. No, okay. Braga, Braga, you gonna kill. Get yours, get yours, Braga. Okay, I go for a decapitation. You go for a full decapitation. Time, yeah. Good job, that's what I would do. <laughs> Roll me 2d6 plus guts. I'll okay. help her. Good. Um, I'll, am I muted? I, <laughs> I'll help her uh, by like doing the staff at yeah. the same time. Like you're like shining a light on it while I'm yeah. hitting it. Yeah. You're giving me like a laser pointer where to hit. I want to I help you. Oh, Ooh. fuck. This is 12. Woo! Ooh. Oh, nice. See All the right. plus two to this. Okay. So uh, I'm starting at a six before I roll anything. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and that's a five. So I'm an 11. Ooh. Fantastic. All of that was needed. So did you kind of flash your staff on the ground? I just went like, get that bitch. Yeah. I as you know. sent almost like a little, as you sent almost this kind of wide cone of light towards the creature, illuminating Braga's path. Braga, describe to me this cut. Uh, it's just like, yeah, I, I think I'm like really getting the hang of the smoothness of this axe and I saw what Violet did and so I'm kind of just like following that same path, avoiding the like, I kind of see the sludge come down and I kind of like sidestep it and then just like whoop as I do it and like as it's like as I'm moving, the axe is moving with me and so it's like the momentum just goes right through it. Your axe, yes. You move with your axe and you do this perfect kind of undercut that then swoops back up, almost perfectly carving out the head of this creature from its goo-like body. And you see this this head just sludge and s sit against the ground. And you hear this like thud, this gooey thud. It's There's a hardness in there, but there's also this kind of liquid as the head Ugh, just rests there and you see the body of the creature you start to see almost these goo like tendrils start to leach out from the shoulders trying to form the head again Oof. but every time they try and form the head they're unable to do because so of because cold. of the power nice. of your axe nice can, can my light also that i'm shining on it kind of act like a carterization 
Like it's cauterizing. Oh, so you'll have to roll for that. Well, I'd like to roll for that. And I'd also like to cauterize the entry of yes. the sludge. Yes. From Do above. that because my axe already kind of kept it from reforming. So focus on that instead. Yeah, certainly. That way it's a whole other move. What too. exactly do you want to do? I want to like shoot the, the like light. Like cover, beam. Close, basically close the she opening. She wants to prevent more things from coming in from the room. Fantastic. This, this I will hole. say this, Hannah. You do look at Maddie. And Maddie, <sighs> you do look at Hannah. Thank you, And chat. you feel a yes. combo coming on. You ready, little bean? Yeah. <laughs> Double combo all yeah. the way Wait, across let me try, the fight. Try and open my locket. <laughs> it's worth a shot. Okay. It's, it's all, it looks great on you. Thank you. Um, Here. Uh... You're going to stand on my shoulders. Okay. And I'm going to touch the bottom of this staff. And you're going to make sure it touches the top of the cistern. Oh, and this cistern is like a hundred feet tall in the oh. air. It is a huge cistern. Hey, Maddie, what if you rocked out and made that music? They made that light flash on up to the top. Full metal light show! <laughs> Pyro! I also have an air horn. I, I, I'm a one man band. You're well equipped. <laughs> well, you really are. You really are. Mary Poppins. I have like a duck horn too. I have like, Dick Van <laughs> yeah, I have all kinds of things. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to think. What could be, you be used for this? Uh, buh, 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 buh. You can do whatever I'm just imagining Maddie oh, as like yeah, a yeah. one man band with like yeah. cymbals on her grab, knees and like an accordion. Aww. I'm going to grab. Drum on her back. Um, yeah. Uh, a bagpipe, it's a mini bagpipe out of my, out oh of my, my bag. I, I, look, I have, the bag flips inside out, and it's. A I bag have a pipe. bag of instrument holding <laughs> to where I go. Because <laughs> bagpipes are great in these acoustics of the sewer, and I stick it on yeah. one of the pipes. Yeah, and I just imbue the pipe, the the staff with energy and magic. <laughs> And you see this, <laughs> you see this, this white light Ridiculous. shoot up that's imbued with like almost, you start to see in this white light, you see these beautiful crystalline, almost musical notes kind of threading throughout as the bardic magic Maybe is charged. Maybe not the best instrument for this. <laughs> <laughs> the musical <laughs> notes are like a little fuzzy and like a little scratchy. It's not as elegant as the shoot <laughs> up. It's fine. So as you were trying to shoot this up, were you trying to just, you were almost trying to use the light as a heat source to, to seal the... So everything's been turning to stone once it's been hit by the light things. You, like some, like her her sword turned a thing into stone. That's her, that's her sword's ability. Mm -hmm. but, they all have different abilities. Well then, well then, then I wanted to stop the rain from coming in. <laughs> I will say this because it was a combo and it was complete success. <laughs> Musical umbrella. <laughs> yes, you create Still almost. I you create this who as stop the rain. <laughs> as this um viewed a uh, musical bardic energy light cone is sent into the air you start to see as the light dissipates there's almost this this record like uh, appearing light disc cool. that is just slowly spinning and it slowly swirls to the top and it just sits at where the cistern hole is and just slowly spins be cool be cool Good and job. there is no wiki, more wiki. sludge leaking down oh, into the cistern. Nice. Is there How still, many of these are left? Are there still things left or only one? <laughs> oh. I will say there are three of all three of them are still left. They are not looking. The middlest one is looking the worst. It's it's kind of it's really staggering now as its head is completely gone and its body is realizing it cannot reform. Mm -hmm. uh, the second, the one on the left most that Maddie and Violet have been targeting has it's it's slowly kind of morphing into stone as I said it was a slower process as it kind of spread throughout its entire body but it's still kind of it's ready it's readying itself to make an attack and then D the one that you shot an arrow into it has these these golden like veins seeping throughout it and you see that it is still it is preparing also to make an attack as well but you see the golden veins go into its eyes and its eyes go golden, and suddenly you see the creature almost look around as if it cannot see you anymore, so it doesn't know where it's going to be attacking. Interesting. I'd like to, uh, I'd like to do another arrow at it. Yeah. Fantastic. Roll me 2d6 plus skill. This is so cool. Ooh. Ooh. 12 plus <laughs> 6 plus 1, 11 I mean, yeah. plus 1 is 12. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yes. You're good. Math, math is fun. Yeah. Math today. is great. Math is fun when numbers are big. Yeah. Fantastic. So with a 12, do you do you line it? Where are you aiming? Describe to me your shot again. Where are you aiming this time? Uh, I'm going to aim it in the throat. Awesome. <laughs> I just want to kill it. 
<laughs> so you line up one of these, another one of these opalescent arrows, and you fire it from this golden bow. And yeah, just like you said earlier, describe it for me again. It was so beautiful. So the arrow, as it leaves the bow, it starts to like to turn in the air, and there's a spiral of golden light behind it, and then it pierces the throat, and then it just like imbues this flash of light inside the creature. You just see almost this creature kind of look up for a sec as soon as the arrow hits it, and you see its entire goo-like neck explode, and then start to, you see like this light kind of come on from inside it, and you start to see the neck kind of almost deflate as mm. these big goo chunks start to fall Ew. down goo from chunks. the neck of this creature, and you start to see as these goo chunks fall more and more that the head slowly slides off, this blinded creature's head falls off and sludges into the ground and starts to melt into goo, into a puddle beneath its feet. Are my two arrows still intact? You notice that as the arrows Good pierce, question. they almost disappeared, <gasps> but you have the same amount of arrows in your quiver. <gasps> oh, oh, wow. oh, magic arrows, magic arrows. Best. Oh my God. Yes. That is so exactly the question I had. I was you're like, how like, many do I have left? You're like Hawkeye. They just magically are <laughs> always there. Like, they never runs out. It's a miracle. You see the legs of this creature start to stagger as it kind of lays on the ground, its shoulder blades twitching. And it's similar to the middle one. These goo tendrils start to kind of form, trying to form a head once again. But almost as as these goo tendrils try to extend, these light veins shock them and stop them from moving. So it's still not dead. And that one is pretty much oh, dead. Okay. Yes, it is laying there. <laughs> okay. It's. I mean, if you want, you can really TKO it if you really want. But Just step uh, on it. <laughs> it definitely is not going anywhere. Meanwhile, uh, the two, the two, almost the middlest, the middlest creature and the leftmost creature, not looking too well, look at each other. Oh no! And they start to feel a combo coming. No! Wait, what? Oh, no. Chat. 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 It wasn't, oh, it wasn't. It chat. wasn't chat. Oh, okay. it sorry, was chat. Me, the GM. Oh. Oh. Sorry, chat. Is... Rolling too. Well. Wonderful. As these two creatures, they look at each other, and you see them step into each other, oh. and they start to mold and form, and they become bigger and bigger oh, until no, a bigger sludge. Until oh. almost this. It's a good size. Do 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 do. This this uh adolescent elephant sized goo creature is now standing in front of you. It doesn't have a head and it doesn't have a right arm, but its left arm is a little bit taller than you, Braga. And it is it is you hear it let out this fearsome roar that just shakes the cistern around you as it continues to echo throughout the entire sewer system. As it puts its left foot down, you see these huge hematite claws come out, and it swipes directly at you, Violet. What do you do? Um, I, w I just want to put my sword up because I want this front foot to be stone so it can't move. Fantastic. I'm going to say that's defying danger. I'm going to say with your, if you're training. So I'm going to say roll me 2d6 plus skill. Great. I like skill. Oh. Do you want the tower? Yes, please. I know some of you are asking, how does it roar without its head? Uh, it just, you it's hear this demon. sound. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's a, a demon. You see this, this, this <laughs> horrible demon. sound emits from like, the, you see like the, the neck hole from like where it's the rest of its neck and throat are. So. I'm gonna say, how it roars is the least of my concerns <laughs> yeah. about this creature right yeah. now. Yeah, I don't need to analyze it. Ooh. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay, that is a six, seven, eight. Um, and then do I have any tokens now? You have a nine. Is that with your skill oh, oh, and good. your it's plus one? It's a nine. One? Aha, aha. It's a nine. Violet, you have three tokens. Yeah! Yay! And then I'll do plus one, ten. Fantastic. With a ten, you just were piercing it into its foot? Yep. I just want that to be stone. Almost as if like a, <laughs> like a lion stepping on a thorn. You pierce this sword. Uh, into this 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 chaos creature's the bottom of its paw, as you see your sword gl glowing silver at, before it is, is inserted into this goo creature, and it pierces all the way through, and you oh. see this silver light kind of emanate from the sword as this paw of this huge now chaos creature starts to slowly turn to stone, and you see the the rest of it trying to move, but this now that it is huge, the stone even weighs. Like the way stone weighs more and more and more, so it really like now it is stuck in place as well as it is slowly. You see this this concrete like stone 
uh, affliction growing and creeping up its leg. I think we could just leave. It's not like it can follow us, right? Yeah. <laughs> I want to kill it. It's funny you say that, Braga. Braga, you look at Maddie. Maddie, look at Braga. Yeah. You feel a combo coming on. Um, all right. Hey, hey, we both have our own various axes. Why don't we put our axes to work? <laughs> your, I have an axe? Your guitar. Oh, uh, uh, you. Um, you. Okay. All right. Um, did I see where D shot the other one that, like, killed it when she shot like like where in its body i'll say yeah you it? saw that she, she she first she pierced it in the heart which mm -hmm. started the affliction uh -huh. and then she pierced it in the throat which yeah. was a, a smaller area well, this which has no throat this, so this has no throat my plan is to go running through its heart with my axe and what are you going to do with your mat with your music to help me um, with that well look can I, I first of all can i i can assist i can aid or do, i guess this is a combo, it's a so, combo. Yeah. so you can actually can do, do whatever, whatever you want. want i'll do that yeah. i'll go full metal again yeah i, I will call this the Axel riff. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. It's time to uh, riffle away. The oh riffle dear. I, I lost. I lost my cool. No, okay. It's cool. Woo! Okay. Yes. Ready? <laughs> Froling like way off in the distance <laughs> from far yeah. away. Yeah. Yeah. So I just and start running. You have to stick your tongue out though. That's the one. Yeah. And then, and then ready? It's like Flight of the Bumblebee, but Flight yeah. of the Braga. <laughs> because you're like riffing, when I swing the axe down in honor of you, I go, Woo! Yeah. Yeah, as I do it. yeah. Wow! Braga, as you slam down your axe, you feel this wave of bardic magic kind of just, you feel it <laughs> through your body as it, as it like crests on your axe. And as you take down your axe, you you see that this bardic energy has in fact made your axe, has made the, the the face of your axe or the blade of your axe as big as this creature itself. Nice. Yeah. So did you go running through the beneath it, kind of like, or did you want to? Oh, swing I was it? I was going through it. Like I was like not stopping. Gonna cut your. Path I was like a train. It, I was like a fork shaped train that was going right Woo through this mofo. That's, I'm playing crazy train. And I go. Do you know who you are? Do you know who you are? I, 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 energy magnifies the blade yeah. of your axe and this kind of is magical transformation as your axe comes just like directly down on its heart and you see suddenly the creature standing there and then you see on the right side the stone that is slowly creeping now at its shoulder blade you see that side of the goo chaotic creature stay and all of a sudden on the left hand side you start to see the the left hand side of the creatures kind of like and slip and kind of gush onto the ground and just rest there. As this other creature, as the other half of the creature just starts to leak goo and just stands there, its back leg kind of giving out, but its body still slowly turning <laughs> to stone Whew. that it is kept in an upright position. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Choo choo, motherfucker. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? Yeah. That was my first Rat Queen's curse. Way to Woo! go. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Fuck yeah, Maddie. So, okay. Oh, okay, cool. So that's cool. Frolin <laughs> comes running up. Oh, my gosh. That was so good. We're not quite done. We and should I... start a band. Hey, but your ring was super useful. I just want to point that out. Sorry. Oh, my <laughs> God. It's fragile male ego. Yeah. <laughs> um, I just, like, shoot, like, the remaining of the light in my staff and just, like, singe it and kill it. And hose it down. Yeah, like <laughs> like roll putting me, out the rest of the spot <laughs> fires. Only two d six plus uh, skill. Damn, that's um a, a thirteen. <laughs> Why did I give you guys plus one weapon? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's the penultimate episode. I know. It's like the one time also, we're we actually rolling up in two arms. I know. True, that's why I gave it to yeah. you because you haven't Thank leveled you. up. Thank you. Anyways, yes. Our friend died. Are Let you, us have a toy. <laughs> As you as yeah, as you aim your staff at this huge creature, you just see that uh, the light almost you start to see where the goo was kind of dripping off, almost your light as it hits this this open gashed chaotic creature, the light almost freezes it and it stops it from dripping. It almost like puts a pause on it. That was, that was humane of me. Yes, um, for sure. I, I I would like to go over to Violet and, and heal her her arm Aww. some. Tell me 2d6 plus heart. Okay. Or not. <coughs> Three, four, five, six, seven. It's you a mixed success. It's a mixed success. So she gets 1d6 worth of healing. Okay. Let me roll it right here. I'll just do a little, like, you know. We're in the sewer. It smells like a loo. 
Your arm is now covered with goo. I sing this song so we can save the world. We're just a group of badass girls. Yeah. Wow. Something like that. Wow, profound. I, I'm loving this, honestly. I, I, don't, I don't know if that helped or not. I, Violet, as you hear this beautiful tune, you see this kind of this bardic energy come towards your wound. You this 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 goo that has been stinging your arm and stinging your wound for so long. The sing the stinging has while the singing was happening, the stinging has stopped. As you start <laughs> kind to of see, like near Sporin. <laughs> Thank you. You're you welcome. see that the purple is still this kind of inky, this inky stain is still there, but you feel, and you trust you feel that the the sludge is no longer seeping into your open wounds and that that is now gone. Well, then that's peace of mind right there because that was really emotionally not doing me any good. I, I call that my bardic, my bardic Band-Aid. Hmm? Did you get any HP back? Yes, you got three points. Three, You're at well, 12. Ooh, oh, wow. we, we need every HP we can get. That's why I'm like, I'll just we keep, got, we got I'll healed, just, right? I'll just keep rhyming. Ah. <laughs> Speaking of that, ladies and gentlemen, it oh, is God. time for the second poll. Ooh. So let us get the second poll started. You'll see that it's a very interesting poll. I I encourage you to. <laughs> yeah, right? Can I look? Also, so, thank you for all the chat, all the combos, yes, chat. That was amazing. That, that was awesome. so much fun. Simply trust your gut. That is what all I will say. I'll open up the Twitch. It's, George it's a chaotic. It's a chaotic poll tonight, ladies and jelly beans. So just oh have God. some fun oh, with my it. My goodness, Excited. crossing the Delaware. Terrified. Wow. So, <laughs> as the five of you kind of make your way past this this terrifying encounter, you find your way up the stairs back towards the the Palisade uh, Merchant's Guild storage facility, the elite storeroom. And the stairs that were once trapped long ago are no longer trapped as no one had a reason to trap them. As you find yourself at the door, the small tight doorway into the storage room of the Palisade Merchant Guild's elite storeroom. All right, let's go. We're breaking in, right? This is, this is it. We're Maddie, like... funny you should say that. Tell me, what is your baggage? What was Maddie's baggage? What is the what is the essence of her past? What is the one That's kind of darkness right. within her? Was it her insecurity that yes. she would never really truly fit in as a rat queen? Yes, that was exactly what it was. I will say, suddenly, as you kind of approach coming off the high of this battle, you start to look around and see these other competent rat queens working together. The comment that Violet made to you earlier, calling you Betty, starts to kind of, you start to remember that once again. <laughs> that, did, that did come. As you feel your baggage triggered, well, and what do you do? You're trying to open this door, do you, what do you do? Um, I try and open the door. <laughs> That's what people do. I'm just, I'm just gonna try and open a door like a normal door. And maybe, maybe they left it unlocked. Uh, what are you doing? What are you doing? You, uh, right you see, as you say that, you see Maddie simply reach for a door to a very heavily armed facility uh, oh. as she reaches out and she grabs the doorknob and suddenly this iron clasp, these two iron teeth clasps come down <gasps> on her hand. Oh, I did not think this through. Uh, oh! Oh, I've been ironed. <laughs> All right. Almost like a bear trap. This trap oh, has no. come oh, down on okay. Maddie's hand oh, on the no. doorknob. Okay, don't move anymore. And you take three points Budge. of piercing damage. Leave oh. it there. Leave it there. I know it must hurt. No, I'm fine. It's totally fine. Can we uh, get situated? Or, or can I uh, do you write, anything, write anything about this kind of doors and all of your, <laughs> your literary uh, library uh, yeah, no. Where's a trap master when you need him? I do know. I uh, playing chess with it with, de with death? Apparently, oh. do I We're retain a some of her luck picking Smiths for ha from having created picks for her in the past? I will say, if you really focus hard, you'll be able to detect the traps here. It's not in your initial skill set, skill set, oh. but because you did help with lock picking with Betty in the past, if you get a ten or above, it will be a success. Well, if you get anything beneath a ten, skill, canny, or guts, canny. Woo! Five, six, seven, eight. Nine. I'm going to use one of those motherfucking tokens. With a ten. 
Were you just trying to recall lock picking in general? Um, it, like what kind of tool would I, Betty have used in order to undo this? With a lock pick, you need essentially a lock pick, and then you also need a thieves tool to kind of start to jimmy the jimmy the lock. Hannah, do you have any pins in your hair? I can make them. <laughs> I'd like to <laughs> <laughs> make them. I will say because you rolled a 10, you do. <laughs> oh. uh, Maddie, there's going to be a few more seconds uh, <laughs> while Hannah uh, pulls m- more interesting things out of Hang her Hang in mouth. there. <laughs> one more? It's fine. I don't, I, this isn't my strumming hand, so it's fine. I can... Uh, ooh. You're a lefty? I am. Yeah. All right. When I start uh, going away at the well, pick. Don't you fret. Oh. Well, don't you fret. Oh, oh, oh. no. <laughs> This may this may be the thing that does us in. Puns. <laughs> yep. I don't feel very punny right now. You are able to unlock the door as you hear a click, click, <sighs> click, click, click. And yes, the trap slowly pries open as as Maddie you remove your now pierced and bleeding hand. Can I heal it? Oh, so you've done a lot of healing for today. Oh, or- am I am I is there a limit? <laughs> She just doesn't want you to heal yourself. <laughs> you can heal yourself if you want. She could try. My, this is my chord hand, okay? How will I play? Well, that's right. You have to play music in order to heal. So I, if you I can't, can do it the pain. Oh, you can give her a negative one. Play. I'll give you a negative one on this heal. Okay. So Only to... 2d6 plus heart. Ooh. 11. So a 10. Oh, that's good. What? So, that is great. Um, that's awesome. <laughs> She has a lot of heart. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I need this little hand to start my first rock band. How dare you hurt me, Bear Claw? I hate pastries. <laughs> because it was such a small little whisper song, you feel you feel two you feel two points of health return back to your hand as the wounds have now stopped bleeding. They're still kind of there, but they've they've stopped bleeding. That's fine. I, I don't want to leave a trail. You know? yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. Can we get situated? Oh, yes. I put as the you... pins in my hair. No, the, like my hair looks cool. As the five of you enter, you find yourself in a very familiar yet slightly redesigned storeroom. As you can only imagine that after the the destruction of the the first Palisade Elite uh, Palisade Merchant Guild's uh, Elite storeroom, that this one too has had slight redesign in its rebuilding. But you do recognize that this is the same. Uh, this is the same supply closet. Cleaning. You see, there's a number of of rags and and soaps and cleaners on the walls around you, and brooms, mops, you name it. Even a little apron and a little mop bucket on some wheels. Why would they booby trap the janitor's closet? It really doesn't make sense. Because the janitor's closet leads to the vault. Oh, that's fair. It's true. I don't yeah. true. Yeah, that's actually probably. It's, it's we can disguise ourselves as maids. <laughs> I don't think anyone's gonna that's gonna worry about well, it. Uh, I'd like to get situated to see if I can hear if anyone's out on the other side of the door. I mean, it could be fun. Aren't we <laughs> on in the janitor closet? Of- You're in the janitor closet, and on the other side of this door, you went through one door into the janitor's closet, and on the other side of this door is the main storeroom for the Palisade Merchant Guild. No, we can might dust as- it. Dust. It's absolutely possible. I'm gonna put on a disguise. Yeah, exactly. I'm, 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 I feel like I'm you're contributing. Like, like, I just I'm like this dress. Can I just on. have this I'm, moment? Yeah. yeah, I'm into a disguise. I always want to do one. To make Maddie happy. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. Um, I want to see if I can get. Uh, my assumption would be that because of all the blight, that there wouldn't be someone there, but that would be a full mistake. So I'd like to see if I get a sense for more magic, more human, uh, more people. If th- if something's going on in there. Only two six plus canny. Damn. Nope. Eleven. Man, we're really rolling well. You finally found the dice. True, but they're not even mine. <laughs> <laughs> with now that you've said that, yeah. With an eleven, well, the open jail's next to you. It's you true. do not hear anything on the other side of the door. You do not sense any. You don't sense any magical. I would say traps. You don't sense any magical beings on the other side of the door. You definitely get the sense that there are magical items in this room. Totally. But you don't sense any traps or, or foes or individuals. And then yes, everything. I will say it, there's nobody here. And you notice also with your third that the do- this door is unlocked and not trapped. Great. I just like. 
make everyone think that this is going to be really dangerous. <laughs> uh, oh, I hold the door. Hannah, Be Hannah, careful Hannah, of the space. Whoa. Go right. slow. Hannah. Oh, God. You guys. need your hands to cast spells. And I open it, and I'm like, this is ours for the taking. And I, like, run in and start doing pirouettes. Hannah starts running doing pirouettes. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Oh, right. This I is hold so up a great. nine. You guys are awesome. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You guys are so cool. I wish. Oh, that was so. She pulled the pins out of her mouth. <laughs> you took out the creature down there. We're in. Oh, my gosh. We're really doing this. We're going to save the world. Yeah. 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 So much Ooh. energy. Oh, oh, again, with the, I, no one knows yeah. what you're doing. You know, yeah. I, I, I'm going to say at this point, I'm officially endeared to it. Huh? All right. You, you one would of us. be. Uh, I, I'm gonna keep on my maid outfit just in case. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, uh, Chaka Souls, Chaka Souls, strip of strip a sea of silk. Sea silk. All right, let's go. Go okay. in. Yeah. Start looking yeah. around. And I, I pretend I'm like, like I'm dusting just to keep up my disguise. I'm going in I'm like, like gingerly because the last time we were in this room, a troll threw a rock over the side of the, the wall and knocked half the room apart. So this is true. Like, oh, ah. You're trying to sense, yeah. Yeah. Ah. You notice that definitely this room looks completely different from when you were last there. Yeah, they had to rebuild it. They did have yeah. to rebuild it. You see that there are no longer windows. Yeah. Uh, this is a completely just windowless Why would room. would there be windows in that room? Like they were very high kind of windows, oh, okay. but now okay. it's, it's like a warehouse. skylights. Yeah, yeah. Okay. but now there are. It's just this is a, a fortress of a building. Uh, There's probably the bodies of highwaymen family like in the walls somewhere cool. in the masonry. Oh <laughs> gosh. <laughs> As as, as when warning. you first when you first entered, there were these rows, these kind of these long rows of shelves that held items. Now you see that it's completely open in this space, and the shelves are instead against the wall, just a huge, huge, and they go all the way up to the ceiling. And you see that there are these huge ladders, like library-like ladders, that kind of scoot down the various shelves back and forth, like bell bookcases. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right. Mm. Oh, man. This place is huge. Ooh. All right. Hey, do you D. know where they keep chalk? D, mm. do, you, do you know anything about, like, oh. how they would, like, keep records of where things are at? Like, Yeah, you... some type of organization system. Yeah. I was thinking the same thing. Um, yeah. Can I get a... Uh... Let's see. I, I yeah, I want to see if I can recognize any type of pattern that they would sort these objects in, like any type of Dewey Decimal System, for instance. I'll say roll me two d six plus uh, canny. Let's get you situated. I will say that yes, you do believe that there is a organization Ooh. system. Oh, oh, that's a nine. Wonderful. With uh, nine, you do, do have, have tokens? some tokens. Do you have two tokens? I'll use one. Yeah. Wonderful. Yay! Dewey Decimal for the yes. win. With a nine, D, or with a 10, my apologies. D, you start to see that, yes, there are, there is a code here. You start to notice that there are these tiny code marks on different before, like underneath different shell areas. And you notice that they are registered by region and by rarity. So you know that, um, most likely, the Chalk of Souls would be from a deserty Cascasaria region uh, in a high rarity. <laughs> and you notice, and you recall that also a strip of sea silk would definitely be near uh, an oceanic city uh, with a high rarity. Okay. All right. Possibly the Palisade uh, area with a high rarity. Would those two sections be next to each other? They're, they're on opposite rarity? sides okay. of the room. So it goes it goes by section, then it goes levels up by rarity. The highest rarity is at the top. Okay. Kind of, we have to split the party. So I'll take the, the I'll take the desert area. Hey, uh, whoever's closest to there, I'm going to be like, hey, that's uh, the sea sock. The sea fabric is going to be over there in that section. I'll point them to, towards it. All right. I'll check it out. And I start climbing up the ladder. So are you headed towards the other side of the room? Yeah. Fantastic. For Braga. the sea silk. And yeah, I'll head so, to the... Yeah, I, I'm walking out before I say anything with the ladder. Yeah. Would right. anyone like to go with Braga? I'll go. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, <we're> <laughs> Braga, I'm, Hannah. I'm going to stand near the door and, 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 dust. and dust in case anyone comes in to cover <laughs> our tracks. I Great. love the idea that Maddie and Violet are both wearing maid outfits and like, <laughs> and the rest of us are just like walking around. So true. It's the best. Just as a janitor you... disguise. No one will ever know. We'll, we'll, we'll cover, we'll cover all of you. Thanks. Yeah, no right. doubt. 
Violet, would you like to come with me? Yes, for sure. Okay. <laughs> I'll cover all of you. Thank you, Maddie. This You're is welcome. a test. You're fitting in great. I'm just standing by the door with like a, a, a mop. And Frolin's just kind of like... With no water. <laughs> Frolin's just kind of standing next to you. Oh, a disguise. I like it. You see him just put his cloak up. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, this is where his friend died. He starts mining. Oh. Or like, his friend died because he, he got us in here. Oh, God. He doesn't hear that. That's yeah, not he doesn't bring that need to know up. that either. Mm. So, Braga, you are in now in the area where Dee pointed you towards. You start to notice, too, as you get closer to the shelves, that these cards say low rarity. And you look above you and you say uh, mid rarity. And you start to assume that the highest rarity material would probably be at the top of this ladder. All right. I want to get situated before I do anything. Sure. Call me 2D6 plus, Kenny. D6. Okay. We get it. Everyone D6. gets it. Okay. Haven't said it all game. So that is a six. <laughs> and then You're allowed to I have, what, one. three tokens right now? <laughs> Braga, you have... I've been thinking it. Four tokens. <laughs> okay, I'm going to spend one to get me to a seven, and I get to ask one question, right? Mm -hmm. What's going on here that isn't obvious to me? Ooh, good question. Braga, you don't sense anything in the building. Uh-oh. But something, you can't describe it, but something is making your skin, like the, the hairs mm -hmm. on the back of your neck start to stand up. Okay. You can't put your finger on it right now. It doesn't feel like an imminent threat. It's more of like an overarching feeling. Okay. It's a premonition, disguise. I should say. All right. Hey, hey So you Hannah. feel the urgency that you should probably finish up. I'm going to get off there, but I have, a, I have a bad feeling about this, so keep keep on guard, okay? I will absolutely kill anything that even threatens a hair on your head. Well, thank you. You're welcome. You may need to move fast to get everybody else out of here. Well, we're wasting quickly. time. You tell me Okay, this. let's go. Okay, you're right. You're, you're right. Sorry. Forgive me for trying to be sub. Safety first. <laughs> I start climbing the ladder. So you start to climb the ladder. We cut back over to Violet and D. D, right. where you are, where uh, you're looking for the the chalk of souls. Correct? Yes, yes. So I, yeah, I go to the section that's the desert, and I uh, assume there's a ladder as well. Yes, you are right. You're pretty close to it. It's just like a few steps over. That's where this 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 desert item section starts. Okay. So high rarity up there. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna start ascending the ladder. I'm gonna hold the ladder. You Thank climb you. the ladder and you <laughs> hold the ladder. Thank you. I didn't even know. I know. I know you didn't. It's fine. <laughs> you, offered, you offered to fight something if it attacks me though. That's so. helpful. <laughs> And D, once you're at the top, you see that it's like these tiny, it's almost like these tiny organized rectangular containers that hold a variety of items. Cool. Uh, are they labeled? Yes. Does one of them say Chalk of Souls? Yes, it does. <laughs> I oh, I pull. It, I guess is it like drawers or just kind boxes? of like drawers? It's like okay. drawers without a top. So you kind of pull the you pull this this container towards you, and inside you see this about you see this this six inch piece of like chalk that has these skull faces Ooh. carved into it. That's creepy. Uh, I'm a little scared to touch it for some reason. Uh, that's a that's a really good. <laughs> I think that's astute. Uh, should do you want me to try to find a cloth for you? I have uh, my outfit, and usually I have uh, I use extra fabric for things ah. like this where I can just rip it off, um, kind of like a paper towel holder uh, <laughs> or roll. Uh, You're so more I, than that. Though. I do. I do <laughs> take a little fabric <laughs> and rip it off, so, and and gently pick up the chalk. You gently pick up the chalk, and for a moment you feel this energy from it. But it's almost fleeting as you, you you pick it up with the fabric. Okay. I'm going to wrap it up in that thing and then put it in my bosom safe so it doesn't fall. As you put it in your bosom and you start to descend, Violet, your baggage is clear. <gasps> oh, snap. Hey, now. <laughs> You're a rock star. <laughs> of course I... I want to take my hands off the ladder, and I just want to be like, God, I mean, I'm wearing this outfit, I think, because I want Maddie to be included. Because, you know, I don't, didn't always feel included growing up. I think I, Whoa. oh, gosh, and I just start, like, kick, <laughs> kick, kicking my heels up a little yeah. bit. And I'm just like, ah, oh, man, I just, I, I want people to know where they need to belong for them. You know, I don't want to put pressure on her to be a part of us. Are you talking to me? I, yeah, I'm just sort of talking to, yeah, yeah, I'm talking <laughs> to you. And I think I'm talking to my dad, if I'm really being honest. See, as you're climbing down, you actually feel your foot slip. Ugh. And the ladder starts to roll a bit. Whoa. Roll me 2d6. Oh, shit. Plus 
I'm gonna say skill. Huh! That's a nine. With a nine, I will say you're. I will say one of two things can happen. You can either. Mm. I'm so scared. <laughs> this is your fault too. It is. Yeah. Way to bring your baggage into this. <sighs> Whoa. You Just can either kidding. try and catch yourself <laughs> by pulling on a bunch of items on the shelf in front of you and pulling them down to the ground, causing a lot of calamity and alerting whatever is out there to your presence. Oh dear. Or. You can try and catch your foot back onto, you can kind of slip of the foot, try to put it back on the ladder, but you will have twisted your ankle in such a quick motion. I'll twist my ankle. You will twist your ankle. Yeah. All right, D, you take two points of damage, and now your left ankle is going to be a little wobbly, which may hurt in situations where you need to get places faster. Ah! Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so... What is going on down so, there? Sorry, no, my, I'm sorry. My, I just I don't know what happened to me. I just lost my train of thought. Get the ladder. Get the ladder. Yeah, I get in the ladder. Get in the ladder. You get the ladder, and you, D, you safely descend <sighs> onto the ground. We cut back to Hannah and Braga. Oh. Hannah, so funny She's you so didn't excited. grab onto the ladder because your baggage is triggered, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm um, looking at my nails. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good about all the work I've done so far. Yeah, you're feeling great. I'm, a, I'm like, a, I'm like a, a above par, under par for like how mean I could be to Maddie, and I'm not. And, but so... Because I feel like I've put in a lot of good <laughs> points, I feel like I deserve something pretty or nice. And, and I think I catch my eye on that pretty nice thing right in front of me that I'm going to steal. You see this, almost this glittering on the, on the mid-rarity tier. It's kind of right of, above your eye line. You start, but something very glimmering and shiny catches your eyes. It's this gold and ruby tiara uh, oh. that appears to be from uh, uh, an island nation to the south. Oh, my God. Where have you been? been my whole life and I um, walk towards it entranced and um, accidentally bump the stair uh, the, 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 the book the letter as you bump the ladder, Braga, you suddenly start to feel your safe, yourself moving away uh, from the palisade section Hannah, Hannah what are you doing? what do you want to do? do wanna... Uh, I want to try to like pull the ladder back from like like, I, I, like I'm holding on to it with one hand and I want to like try to like pull like is it grab a, a shelf. Ladder? Yes. Yeah. I want to like grab a shelf and try to pull myself back towards where I was. I'll say roll me two d six plus skill okay. because it's a it's a skill of maneuvering uh, yeah, your strength. Fair. Maybe I pushed you towards the sea zone. She just said moved away. That's a that's gonna be a twelve. Well, fantastic. Well, you do well, it. Well. <laughs> yeah. And then I keep climbing up to like it's a. Is it similar to with her like just like similar? Yes. There's assortment okay. of like open containers that have small like named labels on them. You see a, assortment of vials and objects and whatnot until your eyes land on sea silk. Okay. Yes. So I kind of pull that thing towards me to see how big whatever I'm looking for actually is. You find you see a, a very small, about a foot long, a spool of fabric. Okay. This beautiful, and as you look at it. You, it almost looks like as if you're looking at the ocean. You almost have to take yourself back for a second because the way the silk reflects light and shimmers, it's not moving at all, but it's the essence of the silk itself that emulates the ocean. Beautiful. And okay. I'm like, beautiful <laughs> as I'm putting on the TR. <laughs> um, I kind of like slowly take the whole ream of it and I kind of like tuck it under my, the arm is not holding on to the ladder. And then I kind of like, <laughs> like, like I go, hey, hey, Hannah. Princess Hannah to you. Yeah, that tracks. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, Hannah. What, Lost King? <laughs> All right, let's not call me that. Um, <laughs> do you have a spell that if I drop something, you can make it fall slower, like a, like a feather fall kind of thing? Probably not, but I can try. Yeah, it's a no. So I'm going to start <laughs> trying to climb She's down. So with the, a, under my, I'm going to try to climb down without it. I will it. say you climb yeah. down. Okay. We cut back over to <laughs> Maddie and Frolin. I'm just dusting. Keeping <laughs> all the world from dying, dusting things and disguising things. So did they tell you everything about what they've done so far? What do you mean? I'll, I'll know. I mean, they killed the other five fellows, the original five fellowship. I don't know how they did it, but... Uh, uh, yeah, I heard about that. But I mean, you know, deep down, they're all like really good. Oh, no, good. they're amazing. I yeah. just was wondering if you heard about their adventures, because I just, I just want to know. I like, mean, not really. Everything's just happening so fast. You know, like, I, I mean, I know a lot of their adventures you know, from the past, and, you know, I've been 
following them for a while, and I even I've I've actually been on an adventure with them. What before. happened with you? I went to a convention. What? I've only heard of those in stories. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy, and then, and there was like people dying and stuff. We weren't that, supposed well, to talk about it. Then I don't want to go to a convention anymore. <laughs> oh, that's not what normally happens. That would so that would so, and, and we solved it, uh, kind of, and and things. It was it was re- I, so people died and you solved it. Well, that's we, good. it was like a, it was kind of like it was like a murder mystery. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just still dusting. <laughs> I, I'm obviously dusting really cool things, though, right? I'm like, you know, mm-hmm. there's some big things. I, I'm making sure because obviously this is not kept very clean. Have you have you ever lost have you ever, have you ever lost someone? I just I, it's, I, I know it's silly. Uh, I it's it's weird. I though it's weird, but um, I don't know. Being a Palisade, the last time I was coming back to Palisade was to see my best friend. We didn't really. We kind of left on a on a sour note, and he moved here a lot a long time ago. His name was his his name was Samuel, uh, and he was he was even though we had some some tough times, he was a real good pal of mine. His name was actually Tomwell. Tomwell Shandy. <laughs> so it says like, wow, that's conveniently close to another. His name was Tomwell. Tomwell. Uh-huh. I sometimes I mix up the S in his name with his first name. Tomwell. Uh, <laughs> Tomwell Shandy, but uh. I don't know. It's just, I guess there was a part of me that knew that there was uh, the potential for the dark prophecy to happen and for him to die. But I just, I always hoped that that wouldn't come to be. That I don't know. He, uh, silly. No, it's not silly. We, you know what? We won't let his death be in vain, and we're we're gonna save the world and. Uh, we're your friends now, so you're not alone. You, I know that I can be annoying in the well. That's why not <laughs> not a lot of people like me back where I'm from. I mean, Tomwell kind of was. He was really good at like kind of being like, "All right, get your shit together, uh, 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 Frolin. Stop acting like a ding dong." But um, <laughs> but yeah, I don't I don't know. I just get really excited, and sometimes I, I just when people tell you you're supposed to be a chosen one, I really don't know how to act, and I don't know. If I, I don't feel special. I'm told I'm special. I don't feel special at all, and that's what scares me. We have so much in common. We are like the same person. Really? Yeah. I don't feel worthy either. And then I was told that now I'm like a rat queen, and I don't feel chosen for that either. And and sometimes people find me annoying, and and I I don't have any confidence whatsoever in anything. And and all the rat queens are amazing, and I'm just kind of feel like I'm there, and I'm useless, and all I do is like you know strum a couple chords and hope that I help. And we have so much in common. You just feel him come up and hug you and really tightly. It's okay. We're we're both chosen now to do something. You're right. And now we can get each other's shit together. Right. I promise to believe in myself if you promise to believe in yourself, Maddie. I'm not good at promises of that kind sort, but yes, I will do my best. Okay. Cool, yeah. cool, cool. Yeah. I got my good dust. <laughs> you dab, dab I dust. Dab. We'll call it D&D. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, as Dynamite. the as the three of these separate scenes have have come together, I'm gonna be in my trailer. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh, yeah, you did your your money's worth. My ear just got numb. You all converge in the middle of the floor of the the Palisade Merchant Guild's elite storeroom. All right, so uh, um, we got the chalk. We got yeah. the we got yeah. the silk. Got yep, we got the tiara. Hey, that reminds me. I sent you my dad's crown as a promise to get back to me. Do you still have that? As he takes off his backpack and you see him crawl into it and kind of go like <laughs> face, face into it. You just see his legs popping out. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I, You know what? I promise I would, I would never do anything with it. Um, I pro- oh, it's yep, I found it. It's very spiky. Uh, <laughs> as he he pulls out your dad's oh, orc wow. crown. Yeah. Yes, I take it go. and I put it on. I go now. Who's a lost king? Uh, You're more important than me. More like found queen. Yeah, Woo! right. I'm also a found princess. Yeah, cool. And, and, then, made. <laughs> and on that celebratory woo, as everything for the first time felt light and joyful and easy. Oh, Jesus. Of course. Suddenly, the roof 
is ripped off oh. the Palisade yeah. Merchant Guild Storage Guild. <laughs> they oh, can't make can nice things. And the rightmost wall suddenly simply falls. What? As you see swirling in the clouds above you, the clouds start to swirl, almost forming some kind of, of cyclone. But then you see as the clouds continue to swirl, it's not... It's not a thing that they're making. It's a face. Where suddenly above you, you see the face of Arius looking down. Oh, God. Uh, oh, yes, you think. Oh, I see what you're trying to do. Yes, get the chalk of souls. Get the strip of sea salt. Open the door. This is so fun, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it kind of is. Oh! Oh, is this the one you used to replace your lost friend? Yes, as soon as, uh, what was his name, Sawyer? As soon as Sawyer, uh, I had him do the deed. The deed was done. Uh, he then walked out of that window. What a shame, what a shame. <laughs> but... <laughs> oh, you you had so much fun with my babies, didn't you? I sent you my pets, and you, you dispelled of them with something very interesting. I see that you have found the weapons or the tools of the chosen. How the unchosen have found things that don't belong to them. Well, I'm here to have some fun. Let's make a deal. Chad, if you could please remind me, which one, heads or tails? Oh, no. Heads or tails? Oh. Hey, Maddie. Uh, yeah? Do you remember earlier when you said you weren't in the mood for puns? Yeah. The reason why we joke so much whenever things get real scary uh -huh. is the only way to get through stuff like this. Ha ha ha! Just laugh, and it'll be over soon. This is so funny. All right, we're going to play a game. <laughs> What if we say no? Well, then I'll do whatever I want, but I don't think that's how things will work. It seems like all you do anyway. Well, I'm going to toss this coin, and we'll see what it lands on. I'll say this, I'll call heads, and you all call tails. Heads, I do whatever I want. Tails, I'll give you an option. We'll have some fun. This is your destruction you caused, by the way, so it's only fair. Uh, I give you rule over it. Have you noticed that you are the only ones not being afflicted by the blight? Well, that's because of a little marking on your hand. You're welcome. I don't see any thanks for that. But yes, let us toss a coin. I have a coin right up here. I'm going to toss it. Why Heads. is everyone an arrogant prick? Heads, I get to do whatever I want. <laughs> tails, mm, yes. Well, you get tails. It's heads. I think he's lying. They're lying. It was going to be heads no matter what they did. Well. All right, fine, you caught me. I will give you a choice, because you know what? That's going to be more fun than me picking something. So, here are your choices for Palisade, Rat Queens. Tails it is. One! The entire town will succumb to the Blythe. That is, includes everyone living here. So that little underground resistance in the sewer will suddenly feel the affliction spreading throughout their body, coursing through their veins, and ultimately become servants of me or the other. You can send the resistance up. I will summon my chaos beings. And it will be a fight to the death. No one will survive in Palisade. There will be a massive slaughter. All those you love will either succumb to the blight or succumb in battle. Those are your choices. Those are the options. You are going to make the door regardless. Why not escalate things? What are you afraid of? You don't want us to make the door. You're trying to distract us. And I'd like when you say that to find the solid wall. Yeah. And yeah, I'm trying to distract. Yeah. yeah. And grab, grab the two tools. 
I kind of like kick the silk towards you with my foot. Yeah, and I take the chalk from you. Yep. I, yeah, like I have it in my hands, the, and I'm like holding it behind. The baton yeah. it. What are you afraid of? You trying to distract us from doing this? Yeah, oh, exactly. Oh, no. Go ahead and do it. Please. Really? Yes. What is your obsession with us? Oh, well, uh, I'm, I'm so proud of you. You did exactly what I hoped you would. You, you killed those who would stop me. And now you can't stop me. That's the funny thing. That is what is so funny, my queens, is you will keep fighting and fighting regardless of the fact. D, you know this. You've known this the entire time. Ever since your past self went and told you that as soon as one of you fell, it was over for you all. Then you knew that as much as you fought, you were never going to win. <laughs> against the wall that didn't break. And I'm making it against a sturdy wall. Someone can make it stone, too. Mm-hmm. Isn't it? I will say, yeah, if you're in this alleyway once again, you're facing another stone wall okay. against another building. Yes, I'm like, okay. ah, and like the, the souls are crying as I'm using it. Yeah, you hear like this, like this almost this ghostly Ooh. screech. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, All the demon babies that died. Yeah. That's eerily oh, God, perfect. Bonnie. <laughs> Fudge. And I um, lay out the silk after I have completed mm-hmm. this very large door. I'm gonna kick Crowlin. Come here! Come here. Is this your okay, I'm coming over. I'm coming I over. I like pick him up and put his finger in the middle of the topmost door. Oh my gosh! You can't. No, I have to remove it and put it in the. Just window. do it. And as soon as that happens, you almost hear this click as from with this door, this this door that was made out of this concrete starts to appear as if like a real door, just a complete gray stone simple door. All right, there's the people. We have to find out where we're going. Don't step in the fucking door. Let me just look for where we're going. Go, there's different planes. Do it. Stop talking about it. Actually, you, the new one, you start to see Maddie being lifted out of the air by this smoke. No. Hey. No. You leave her alone. Don't worry, I'm not going to hurt her, but you will make the choice for Palisade. Which do you want? Blythe or civil war? Um. Uh. I played the fifth? <laughs> Is that a thing here? It's not. I mean, I can choose for you. Oh. It won't be the fun one. I mean, neither of them are very fun, but. What, what would you want for everyone? What gives everybody the most chance? What helps. What can we fix after this is over? Can we fix the place? Is it reversible? I was told not to decapitate someone earlier for that reason, so we hope I'm we're thinking hopes. that's it. okay. Okay. Look through the people, you idiot! I'm good. good I'm thing looking. Was... I see a realm, a fire. I'm gonna just keep turning the knob. Just keep turning it, switching the realms. Find okay, them. Great. great. It's so good that we all whisper very loudly. <laughs> uh, I guess. I guess. Just to. To prevent everyone's immediate death and suffering and blood shed, I guess we should give everyone the blithe. Your fate, Palisade, has been picked. Thank you. As you feel yourself gently falling, gently being let down onto the ground. I don't feel good about it. Uh, Have yeah. fun with that door now. I believe I'll be seeing some of you shortly. As you see Arius's, the clouds start to evaporate as Arius's face starts to disappear. All right, I think I've got it. I think I've okay. got it. I run really to the door. hate them. Yeah. yeah. I hate them. You made the right choice. I'm so sick of okay. them doing things and acting like it's us doing it when it's all them the whole time. Like we have any real choice here. So is the door open? Can we go in? Frolin opens the door and you see Braga, something that was very similar to you. You've been in this plane before. It's this essentially this gray-esque plane that you see in the background almost swirling like gray galaxies. You see stars littered throughout the sky as you see this gray sand just before you. 
I just realized. I, I, I don't want to narc on us. I just realized. Would what? Maddie now get the blight because she doesn't have the thing on her hand? We'll get her in the door real quick. Yeah. Um, great. I want to throw her, throw her in the door real fast. Violet, as soon as you grab Maddie and you push her towards the door, Maddie is immediately shot backwards. No. <sighs> what? What is? Wait, wait. We have to go in at the same time. That's what. That's what they said. We all like, have that to was go what in. Frolin said. He said we all have to go. Hold in. hands. Hold together. hands. We have to go in together. Okay. Let's do it. Frolin, you're with us, right? Yes. Let's go. All right. On the count of three. One, One two, two, three. three. Go. Jump. As you start to jump, D, you're able to go in. Brog, you're able to grow in. Violet, you're able to grow in. Frolin is able to grow, go in. As you see on his hand glows a light mark of Arius. <sighs> Hannah, you're able to go in. Once again, Maddie is shot backwards <laughs> into the rubble. Wait, go back outside. Go back up. We can't leave her behind. We all have to go in together. Okay, what does that no, mark look like? We have uh, to have, we maybe need, we can draw it. We need something. Betty. What? We can't do it without Betty. Well, we don't have Betty. What are we supposed to do then? There's got to be a way. Maddie is our Betty. Maddie is our Betty now. Maddie is our Betty I'm going to like go I'm into one of the like drawers that. and look for some type of writing device, drawing device. I'm you do that. Betty. Okay. D, as you rush into the rubble and the rest of the second the second half standing of the, the Palisade storeroom, once again, the insurance on this place is out yeah. of this world. Maddie, it's not a flaw. I know. I, I, You're Maddie. You should be Maddie. You shouldn't be Betty. Okay. But is there like, I don't know. Is there like a way to make like a, a deal with your dad? Like, like take me instead for, and then have Betty come back or Who? something? And, My, or not your dad. We would, sorry. We would, we would never trade you like no, that. No, but make just something. Uh, do I find a writing device? You do. You feel, you find a piece of charcoal. I run over to her and I draw the mark on her hand. You draw the mark on her hand. I mean, it's worth trying. I it's worth know. trying. All right, let's try it again. Okay. All right. Put, Ready? Okay, yeah. Okay. On One, three. One, two, three. D, you're able to go in. Brog is able to go in. Violet's able to go in. Frolin's able to go in. Hannah's able to go in. Maddie is shot backwards <sighs> once again. And as soon as Maddie is shot backwards, Braga, the thing that you sensed earlier that put the hair on your neck. <laughs> You sense it being closer as you look down the alleyway onto the familiar street mm -hmm. and you see a figure of a young girl standing there and she starts to move closer to you. Violet, you recognize this young girl as with you see with horror that her eyes have been turned to hematite oh, and it's Winnie Stormhand. No. Mm. no. Not Winnie. Um, <sighs> Winnie? She can't. <sighs> Winnie, I need you to go back home now, Winnie. She takes another step forward. Violet, she can't hear you. What are we gonna do? Our friend can't go inside with us. She keeps walking forward towards Maddie. She's gonna... We can't go without the fifth person. We can, but we're gonna have to. We have to have all the pieces, or it won't work. That's what that's what that's what Future D said to D. If we go in there without a fifth, we will die. Then we have to die. I'm gonna try opening my locket. Ooh! It doesn't open. Oh god! But then you hear a voice from the left of you. I'm sorry, it's not going to open for you. And you look over, and you see another young girl. But this one you see has three eyes as her bangs are parted and she has two eyes and then a third eye on her forehead. Okay, oh, what can I do? Who do I, who do I give it to? Who does it open for? Do we hear that too or just her? You hear it too. You will use that to revive the body. What? The soul is in a test of its own. It's for Betty. It's always been for Betty. I'm. I shouldn't even be here. No. Yes. No. You have Maddie, to be here. You helped you us get this far. You got us where we are. We yeah. would have done it without you. You helped heal Violet. And me. And if this all works, you will have helped save the world. Okay, but. Maddie, look at me. Look at me. You are a rat queen. You will always be a rat queen. Okay, but right now you need Betty, and it, to do that, I guess you need this, so... S you have to help. How? How do I help? Well, we have to go find her. Where her is she? Her body. She's at the house. The tree. She's in her room. Oh, you in her room. We didn't... Yeah. I, uh, we I, didn't I, bury her. You need that. Yeah. And then 
I believe you have something else. What? Wait. What do you mean? I have something else? Not you. You I... were given something else out of time for this exact purpose. The flower! And I like pull the bottle out of my, out of my, the like, the, the thing from, we got from Bobbit. You oh. pull out Bobbit's hot water with Krona, the, the, I believe it was a feather or a flower? Uh, was it, I thought it was a, a, a flower. Maybe it was a feather. Maybe it was, was it, was it, was it one of Menudo's feathers? Oh, that I thought it was a, I thought it was like a, pe like a flower with petals, I, but I can't remember. I don't remember. Oh, the flower I, water, the golden yeah, the flower, flower, water. flower water. You pull that out as well. I just open my lid and I hold it up. And it's like something coming out of it or anything? Or like no, light or anything? Just, it just... Okay. <laughs> yes, that... You see what you hold in that locket there is... Is the sap of the tree of life. The tree that connects all realities. That is one of the most important and powerful items in this realm and all others. And what that will do is that will close the wounds and... The water shall reverse the time itself, and that will restore the body, but I don't know how her soul is faring. I I asked my father to do a favor. Oh, that's right. And, uh, hopefully... You're here. My father right. is that's death. That's right. Wow. It's okay. This is a lot yes. to unpack. Have, do we know her? Do is we this, know is this Krona? Is this Andrea or Krona? This is Andrea. Okay. Andrea. Because okay. I was confused. Like, I was like, Krona's father is the Krona's guy from... Krona's gone. Well, I her father is yeah. the guy from the chamber. I kind of missed all of this so. exposition. So yeah. I am we very all lost. We all are. <laughs> How I am still alive on this plane is, is hard to understand. Perhaps it is simply because death is constant. It is neither a god nor something that is that one can believe in. It simply exists and is. So you're, you're death's daughter? Yes, I am... I'm the child of a god. I don't possess all my father's powers, but I do possess some gifts that I bestowed upon the triad when I first formed it. The ability to be forgotten by those as if you didn't even exist. Okay, that's wonderful. We need to move fast. Yes. All right, let's go. We need let's to go back to the whole town's going to come down upon us, and we have to get to Betty. Can it's we, like, close now. the door? <laughs> You close the door, so and as soon as Frolin removes the ring, it becomes once again a chalk drawing, and you can you can pick up the chalk and you can pick yes. up the sea silk and take it with you. Hold on to those with our we lives. Can build the door back at your house. We have a lot of walls at your house. Suddenly, Winnie lunges towards you. Oh shit! Yeah, but then she's stopped. You see that there is. Oh gosh, oops! Oh no. You see that there is uh, this blade that has been pierced through her her shoulder blade by another individual Aww. who retracts the blade that then melts and becomes a metal arm. And standing there is uh, about a 14-year-old boy, a human man, with blonde hair and a ponytail wearing a red jacket. Sorry, I've just... It's, are you look like you're in trouble. This thing was coming towards you. This... this. This thing is a perfect little girl, but just don't hurt her again. Well, what do we do to stop it? There's there's these things. They're coming out everywhere. I, I was just traveling through here, and I, I was hiding out, and then I tried to leave, and, and I'm sorry. Who the fuck are you? My name is Alward. Alward? Alward Elfonts. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Yes, I was... I was I was hiding underneath in the in in the hull of a ship here in Palisade. Well, I heard all this crazy stuff was happening, and and well, when I tried to, when I left, it seemed like the town was empty. But I've seen these these creatures running around, and I I tried to stop them. I tried to maneuver away from them. I haven't killed any of them yet. I I had a fear. They feel human, but I just saw this one going towards you, and I'm sorry. Oh God! He, you he, see, Winnie's standing there, and he she needs, he needs to get out. <laughs> Winnie, Winnie takes in hand and clutches her shoulder, I, and looks at you. I want to, I want to grab Winnie really quickly, and I want to um, put my hand over her mouth. I don't want to kill her. I just want to try to knock her out by shutting off a little bit of oxygen to her little real brain. You do have those? Oh, do you? Oh, yeah. I have a light bomb. Light, bo uh, light bombs that are her. known to stun and knock out. L light bomber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to light bomber. <laughs> and then yeah. we're going to carry her away. Roll me 2d6 plus skill. It's not as... 
You light it and you throw him. God damn it. Second chance. Maybe reroll. Six, seven. And I got plenty of tokes. Oh, that's, that's right. right. Took it up. Uh, you have four remaining. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Thank that's you. why you shook my ladder up. <laughs> All those tokens you got. It's true. Um, so, yeah, I, may, I used three of them to make it a 10. Wonderful. With a 10, you are able to successfully light. And where do you throw this flash bomb? Just, like, gently right into... Yeah, like, just, just right next to her. Not at her, but next to her. As Winnie looks down and the flash bomb goes off, you all see this immense brightness that kind of burns your eyes for a quick second. As when the light starts to return, your eyes start to adjust back to normal. You see Winnie is now laying on the ground. The hematite stones in her eyes have now cracked, and you just see her eyes, almost these white pupils, just staring out. Grab her. All right, I'm going to pick her up, and then... We're going to go. Go. And you... Yes! Oward... Stay here. No one cares. Or, 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 or leave get, town. Leave it's probably leave town. Yeah, yeah leave Great town. Idea. Get yeah. out of this town. Flee the apocalypse to somewhere. I'll, I'll run with you, and then I'll head out no. of town. No, just yes. Get, no. yes, you no. can run with us and head out da- of town. Danger follows us. Well, I, I'd rather be with other people and then than by, by myself. Just Fine, no time to argue. Just follow us then. Yeah, yeah, you start us. running. Yeah. As you start running through town. Violet, you carrying Winnie, the f- the five of you running with Frolin, Frolin in the back. D, you're kind of matching Frolin's speed because now you have a twisted ankle, which is not allowing you to catch up with everyone. Frolin's kind of running next to you. Oh, gosh, okay, so we have to uh, bring your uh, friend back to life. Yeah, looks Fantastic. like it. Oh, wow, I never thought we would be doing this, like resurrecting Betty. This is wild. Hey, you know what I just realized? If... If Maddie's locket was always intended to bring some back from the dead, that means that we were always supposed to be the chosen ones at the end of this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As we cut back to the realm of the dead, we see at the table, at the black silk parlor table, we see this beautiful black glass whiskey bottle. As Death and their bony fingers puts out two glasses. And pours. The rules are simple, Betty. If you can outlast death, death in a drinking contest. <laughs> death. <laughs> yeah, I know. If I can outlast you, I get to go back. I have unfinished business up there. Death holds up the shot glass. All right. As they say down here, it's your funeral. As Death takes a shot, and Betty takes a shot, they put it down. Death pours another shot. They both line up. They take it. Death puts down another shot, and the shots keep coming. We cut back to the ninth shot. Death... Death's bony hand starting to shake a bit as the bottle pours the last of the whiskey until Death holds their hand up (laughs) and suddenly the bottle is refilled. Death pours the other glass, sets it down. I must say, (laughs) nine shots. This is pretty good. Pretty good. Thank you, Death. I mean, Betty, this was pointless. This is death you're talking to. Death Death raises a shot glass to their lips. And Betty smiles. And you have never met Betty before, have you? (laughs) As she takes another shot back. We cut back to the five rat queens rushing through the streets, holding Winnie with, um... Alward following close behind Frolin and D at the back. We're suddenly out of the sewers. You slowly see people. Mm. You suddenly see as you're running past them, sewer lids flying mm. open as individuals, people that you had seen from the Palisade Underground Resistance, shooting their heads up, their faces looking at the sky, and you see that their eyes are in a hematite and these black lines go down their body. As you continue your race towards the other edge of town, unfortunately, a sewer hole pops up in front of you. And you see these two burly arms come out. And this white hair emerges and this mustached and goateed beard. 
and standing in front of you, Maddie, is your blithe father who looks at you and begins to charge. What do you do? Uh, uh, we, we just gotta get to Betty. We just gotta get to Betty. I'm gonna try and ignore him completely. Roll me 2d6 plus heart. <sighs> 13. Whoo! Describe to me how you find the will to ignore <sighs> your father. Uh... The only way I'm gonna save him is to save the world. <laughs> no pressure. Uh, just keep running. Just as you run past him, you feel your eyes welling with tears as you see your father become nothing more than a shell for whatever this god. This it's not my dad. It's not my dad. It's not my dad. It's this not my plague dad. It's not my upon dad. Palisade. Following in suit behind them as you pass it, suddenly, Hannah, you feel this necrotic energy coming soaring past you as you turn around, and there stands your father, Gerard Vizari, corrupted. I grab her hand and. Not our dad's, not our dad's, not, not our dad's, not our dad's. dad's. Roll me 2d6 plus heart. Can I help? Yes, you saying. can. Yay! Roll me 2d6 plus your Hannah bond. Eight. So sweet. Plus one. Yeah. So sweet. Not our dad's. Not your Not dad. dad. Not your dad. Not our dad. Really needed it too. Heart. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. nine. And I have. I think I have one more. You have token. one token <laughs> left. Yay! Oh my god, a tan. So yes, yeah, as. Maddie, you help by grabbing Hannah's hand and. Not our dad's. Not, Not our dad's. dad's. Not, Not our dad's. dad's. Not, Not our dad's. dad's. <laughs> As you continue to run, Braga, Violet, and Dee, as you turn around, yes, you see more and more of the people from the Palisade Underground Resistance emerging from the manholes as they continue to swarm and infest the city, these chaos beings. Not our dads, not, not our, our dads, dads, not our dads, not our dads, not our dads, not our dads. I mean, definitely not my dad, but yeah. not our dads. Get to Betty, get to Betty, get to Betty. Uh, uh, uh. As you see that this almost this horde of people starts climbing on top of oh, each crap. other and start almost like swarming towards you, Alward turns around. Keep going. You can't turn around and kill them. I'm not gonna kill them, but I can maybe distract them. You guys gotta keep going. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I guess this is how I go. <laughs> stay, keep, stay with us for the love no, of God. No, no you don't have to do that. I just thought about a little bit. Look, I, this is uh, whatever you, wherever you're going. They could, they, if you're really trying to go revive someone, you're going to have to take some time, and you can't have these things coming after you. I'll try and distract them and keep them off your tail for long enough. Bye. <laughs> okay. Hey, Howard. Yeah. You're a real hero. Yeah. Thanks. I try. <laughs> maybe, maybe when, if you really guys really can't all fix this, that's what I've kind of overheard from this situation. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, good you, luck with that. Yeah, maybe, like, oh. talk, maybe if you're able to fix this, I'll see you later. <laughs> we'll see you later. I'm trying to make him feel better. <laughs> Thanks. Your death will be remembered always. I'll write a song for you, even if, if, if you don't die. Don't forget to mention I'm an alchemist. Oh. <laughs> as you as you see Alward almost just stand there with his human hand and metal hand exposed, just waiting for this horde of blithed palisade uh, individuals to Middle overtake picture. him and distract. <laughs> the five of you finally make it, or the six of you, I should say, Frolin as well. You finally make it. Clamor into the house. Yeah, up the stairs. Uh, I actually went up and grab Betty, and I like bring her back downstairs where everybody else Please is. Please like, tell cause I, me, because they're all running slower than me. As you're so. down there, you Tom actually isn't see... blighted, right? Huh? Tom isn't blighted. The candle, the that... camel. That is to be determined. <laughs> is there a stone so wall? We I, find a stone wall. I, I lay Betty down. You lay Betty down, as you see sitting in an R chair near you is Andrea. All right, so what you're going to need to do uh, is... Tea yes. bag it? Huh? Tea bag it. I don't really... Like, what? the no, locket and just make a paste. It's sap. It's a hard sap mm. in there. Oh. Here. <laughs> I, I couldn't open it. Yes, you can. It could have gone either way. 
Yes, the you, you, were right. the, you were the one who was always supposed to open it. The timing <sighs> just has to be right. See, I told you you were supposed to be who you were. As you put it, as you cover it, as you, like, hold the locket over where Betty's open wound is, you hear the locket click open. <sighs> okay. I unscrew the bottle. You unscrew the bottle of water, and inside you see this almost, as you, you put your fingers into it, it's this beautiful celestial almost looks like the galaxies are inside of it this beautiful starry paste i was smelling it i was just smelling it <laughs> it has no smell yet it invokes so much feeling from within you okay now what do i i put it on her wounds or yes you put it yes put it on her wounds okay and pour the water okay this is some cool necromancy <laughs> kind yeah, mm, yes. It's that time to let You're right, it really is. Shit. As, uh, <laughs> <laughs> as you pour the water and Maddie, you place the paste on Betty's open wound, you, so, you slowly start to see not only the wound close, but you start to see her body that was once kind of becoming more emaciated as, as it lacked nutrients start to return to a healthier glow almost as if Betty is simply sleeping yet you feel no breath you feel no presence from Betty herself I can't believe this is happening I like we it. cut oh, oh. we cut to death's parlor once again 21 shots in <laughs> death on the floor, one bony hand on the table, <laughs> the other hand grabbing the bottle, with every ounce in its form pouring two more shots. Betty, similarly, on the floor with one hand on the table, staring down death with a fiery gaze. <laughs> <laughs> death mutters as death puts a shot to their mouth. Betty puts a shot to her mouth. We cut to the queens. Sit staring over Betty's healed yet soulless body. Outside we see in the distance a crowd of blithe creatures, blithe palisade individuals making their way towards the Vasari home. Inside the home, unbeknownst to any of our queens, we see on the back of Maddie's neck, black veins begin to appear and start to go down. Do I feel it? You do not feel anything. These black veins start to appear on the back of her neck. However, as you look, Oh, I will say this, D. You actually notice this, D. You look at Maddie, Maddie. You look at D, and you feel a combo coming on. There is no way to save her at this time, but perhaps you can prolong it, or perhaps you can stun her before anything else happens. I'd like to. Uh, I know I don't have a connection to Corona right now. But I want to just like remember the Krona essence of time and somehow just like channel both of our energies and pause it from spreading. D, as you feel, as you connect with Maddie and you feel Maddie's magic coursing between your fingers as the two of you focus your hardest, there's almost as if this spark, you feel it within yourself you feel this golden spark as you feel as you focus on Krona's energy and you focus on Krona's magic you do feel for the first time since Palisades since the end of the world has started you feel a connection to some kind of magic some kind of force out there as you feel this magic leave your hands Maddie you feel this this warm rush of calming magic shoot through your veins and for a moment, D, you see that the veins that have started to appear on her arms have now paused and are frozen. 
You all have to get through the door. Like, right now. Make the door. Get, get Betty yeah, through yeah. there with you. And Let's make the door, yeah. I can maybe hold off the horde until you guys all get through. She won't go through without a soul. Well, let's get the door ready. Okay. <coughs> I start to draw. You have to. I have to. Whatever. <laughs> here's, here's my ring. Uh. Oh, yes. Oh, thank um, you for lifting me up. I it, uh, gotta find the good one. Find the good one. All right. Again. I'm gonna keep looking. You keep watching her. I kneel down next to Betty and I'm yeah. like, come on, Betty. Come on, girl. Come on. Come back to us. Yeah, I kind of put my arm around her and hold her. Like, and I just, I'm like, come on, pine cone. Come on. Will no. a healing song help at all? First, I'm afraid soul? not. This is. This is a battle of her soul. Whether or not her soul is able to make a deal or make it out of, well, the ethereal plane is is all up to Betty. As the five queens, as the door, as Frolin clicks the doorknob, having found the plane of the in-between, the plane of Arius, our five queens huddled around Betty stare at her. We cut to Betty, lying there, motionless. And that is where we will end tonight. Uh... How will the drinking game end? You will find out next week on the final episode of the Rat Queens RPG. We love you. Looks like the Rat Queens are going to have to save the end of the world in order to save Maddie. Oh, yeah. Uh, that would be great. Thank you all <laughs> no so pressure. much for joining us. A big, big round of applause. Thank you. Yay! Yay thank you for having me. That was thank so much fun. You, Bonnie. And on that oh. cliffhanger, I believe we have another Rat Queen's jam to jam out to. What? That's right. Hit it, Maestro. Oh, Maestro looks confused and surprised. And also very cute. <laughs> Should we read off the list of names while he's trying yes, to find it? Yes, let us read off the list of names. Let's do it. I heard the song earlier. What's the list of names? Well, this is all the people who made tonight's oh, show yes. possible. Thank you for everyone who voted in the polls. I know the coin flip. How chaotic. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. You ultimately had to choose Palisade. Such fate. chaos. Such <laughs> chaos. Much, mm. Such chaos. Mm. Much, much wow. Much chaos. Such much chaos. Wow. Much wow. Thank you to everyone who made tonight's show possible. Guess what? Everybody here, ladies, we hit $1,000. Yes! So please get active in the chat. We will be giving away a copy of the rat, that hardcover copy of the Rat Queen's comic. We'll be giving it to you. Yes. So let's thank like, everyone. I'm just going to slide it in the chat yes. right now. Yes. <laughs> thank you to everyone. Yes, get active. We're going to do the giveaway. Thank you, everyone, who helped make tonight's show possible. Let's go ahead and thank everyone. Zauron. Zauron. Peak one. Peak one. Dambowski 11. Dambowski 11. Demand 1198. Demand 1198. Candy corn is bleh. Candy corn is bleh. 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 Wait a minute. Sorry, Jess. <laughs> PR fan 2002. PR fan 2002. J Pistol. J Pistol. Peak One. Peak One. Winston EXE. Winston EXE. Villainous Villain. Villainous Villain. Direct Fletch will miss you. Direct Fletch will miss you. Numpty 524. Numpty 524. Keen 456. Keen 456. Peak One. Peak One. J Pistol. J Pistol. Benno Steve. Benno Steve. Zaron 23. Zaron 23. Peak One. Peak One. Peak One. Peak One. Shadow Uzumaki. Winston EXE. Winston EXE. J Pistol. J Pistol. PB2 AU. PB2 AU. Mentors Rock. Mentors Rock. Zaron 23. Zaron 23. And on the mental. And on the mental. Wow. We're pulling out. We're pulling a winner really, really soon. Keep getting active in the chat. Win this comic that you all helped make happen. You all built towards that. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so, so much for joining us. We are now entering next week the final episode Aww. of this arc of the Rat Queens da, 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 da. RPG. Da, 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 da. Are we allowed to sing this song right now? Because I think there's something called copyright. Copy uh, right. No, I slightly changed it. Instead of da, 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 I went. There we go. Da, da. <laughs> also, it's parody now. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Thank you. Make it funnier. Your Protected under awesome. parody okay. law. Speaking, Speaking of that, library bar. big thank you to the amazing Bonnie Gordon. Thank, <laughs> thank you so yes. much for joining us, Maddie. Seriously, thank you for letting me go on adventures with you. It was a blast. Yeah, yeah. Of sure. course. Thank you so much for, for joining us as Maddie once more before uh, the darkness overtakes before demise, you. If she yes. lives, then you can come back if we play Maestro, again. do we have <laughs> the song? You're canon now. 
Yeah. Oh. Roll me two D six plus Kenny. Roll me two D six plus Kenny. Roll me two D six plus Kenny. This is another Red Queen's banger from Darren Pryor. Roll me two D six plus Kenny. 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 and so many uh, wonderful things for this show. It means so much to us. Uh, if you love all these amazing, talented people here, be sure to... Oh, my goodness. Uh, be sure to... Oh, that was my G-string <laughs> yes, on my lute. It was. <laughs> With that, uh, all of their social information is being dropped in the chat right now by our mods. Go follow these amazing, amazing ladies and women. They are doing... They're writing articles. They're shooting things. They're, I mean, recording things. They're, uh, Jesus they're making Christ. music. They're doing improv shows. They have parties going on. They're on oh. other RPGs. And they're just killing it in the creative world. You definitely want to be following all of these amazing, amazing individuals here. They're so creative. Inspire me every day. So their information is in the chat right now. Hyper RPG. What do we got going on? Grimdark Dawn tomorrow. More Warhammers. Who's going to win? I don't know. You're going to have to tune in and find out. Friday is Troll Hunters. Monday, Colock, 1991. Tuesday is Post Ghost. Super fun last night. Holy cow, it's a crazy fun new ghost hunting show where the ghosts are hunting the ghost hunter. Very, very <laughs> fun and creative. And of course, join us next Wednesday for the finale of the Rat Queens RPG right here in Hyper RPG. Bye -bye. I'll be hyping up this finale all week. Thank you all so, so much for joining us. You are all amazing. I love you all to pieces. I'm going to wait to get choked up next week. Yeah. And until <laughs> next <up>. week, <laughs> keep adventuring, my queens.